Want to hear me out there?
almost wasn't a professional on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the Long War Battle Reports live on Twitch and other various video platforms. I am joined today by one of my dearest friends of all time, Shot Naden. How's it going, brother? Doing good, doing good, doing good. It's going to be a serious battle today with a couple of new fucking armies. Um, we have, we're have we testing new technology. Sorry for the delays trying to get this thing up. Things are changing in the wild world of the internet. But let's just turn it quickly over to Juice uh, and uh, Gray because they do have some interesting uh, gorilla footage for us. So here we go. Hey, everybody. I uh, just wanted to make sure. I think all the chats say all fair. I don't know if that's just ours, but... Um one way or the other here we go there we've got two different armies going on here today i am going to be manning some eldar eldar dark eldar this is coming from um one of our inner circle members over at patreon four slash battle brother that sean and i have uh this list is a triple battalion uh it's got two units of grots a nine man unit and a ten man unit we've got a uh, eight man unit of shining spears 15 racks 24 rangers um, 15 Kabbalite warriors, a uh, succubus that is a solitaire light. Um, Sean's going to break that down with all the information for you guys so I can get off of here. And then we have the um, two or Urian and Homunculus. Okay. And then over here, let's see over here. Gray, we've got a uh, shout out, Gray. What's going on, brother? What's up, guys? All right, so what we're looking at real quick to dive in, we have a um, uh, Crast Crusader. Uh, his Warlord trait is going to be uh, reroll ones, and then he's got the Endless Fury, uh, the badass Gatlin Cannon, the Loyal 32 plus six mortars, um, an Assassin, oops, excuse me there, uh, uh, Gray's Assassin that he's choosing today uh, is going to be the Vindicare, two Helverns, a unit, a unit of um, two helpers, excuse me, the two fatty units of intercessor, or excuse me, uh, veterans, the Death Watch, with the ridiculous storm shields, all the guns, wounding ammo, and then a base uh, five-man unit, six-man unit, something like that, uh, of veterans. But either way, you guys will break down everything else. I got some, um, some more characters in there, and we're going to get this game going. Thank you, brother. Now get out of that chat with that phone. <laughs> That's uh, our first attempt at doing some on, like some guerrilla footage, some coverage, problem solving. Uh, we hope to bring new cool things in there, maybe with some more stability in the future. Um, but uh, let's toss it over to uh, Sean, the top two greatest 40K players in the world that I know today. Mm. Break down this list and what you think is going to happen. Uh, this is a tough match of both ways. Uh, probably, what, like a month ago, we saw Juice face off against the Death Watch with the Castellan, with all the beat stuff, with a hodgepodge Eldar list where we had the Wraith Knight. We forced them to play with some of the weaker elements in, in the Eldar and Harlequin. And he made a tough game out of it, but eventually the, the Death Watch were able to overcome the Eldar in that matchup. And today, again, we have a tough matchup for a very strong Eldari list. Grotz and Shining Spears are very popular Eldar units. They're very strong. You saw them all at LVO, all across all the tables. I'm sure you had to play against a couple of them, Kenny. Oh, yeah. And uh, I did as well. But Death Watch have that that heater against the Grotz to high toughness. These, these oh. grotesque units oh, yeah. are T6 when they're in range of a homoculus. They have... Uh, four wounds each, and like they like, like like four up and vulnerable, six up and pain. Four wounds is real good when someone's shooting you with like a few shots from a las can and a plasma gun, or this and that, like all this dope shit. They, you're like, yo, suck it. And then when somebody's like, yeah, I just got like a hundred bolters at one on twos. You're like, you know, suddenly I'm not feeling yeah. so good about this. Yeah, because because Death Watch have that ability to wound everything that's alive and not a vehicle on twos. And this is the first game where we've put out the beta bolter rules is being being in effect. So these guys can sit back stand still and just pound away at the grotesques with with bolters and high quality shooting yeah and a good uh, way to think of the butt baits or bolter uh <clears throat> bolter beta rules <laughs> is uh <laughs> it extends your dps uh by a turn at minimum so whatever you were used to doing <clears throat> on what turn you get to do that a turn earlier so like the full weight 
of their offensive uh, bolter capability is being accessed earlier and earlier in the game. I don't think it's OP or anything like that, but I think it's a solid tactical Marine rule that adds a little spice uh, when needed, and nobody utilizes it better than Death Watch. Yeah, so it looks like they've got Vanguard deployment, as you can see by those tricky triangles on the board. And something we want to mention to all the viewers out there is the big objective markers three and two, the terrain pieces sitting exactly next to it, abut against those. We are playing them with the enclosed ruin rule from the ITC. Just we want we want the beautiful Necron terrain on the board, but we also want to play that competitive 40k. So those two entire bricks of terrain are completely blocked from line of sight. And the only things that can get into them are infantry models. So it's an important thing to keep in mind. And the chess clock is a part of the table. It is a line of sight blocking hill that is probably impassable to models. So no one can go on top of it, but it will block line of sight and they can go around it. All day, every day. Hold on, let me, I'm setting up the old Madden app real quick. So I can pass along, I can pass this information along as you go. Yeah, so I really like both lists. Um, we wanted to stress test this list for uh, one of our, our our members of our inner circle that we're working with coaching in our in our in our group, and we helped him come up with this list with these models he likes and this Eldar list, these grotesques and whatnot. So we wanted to put it through a a stress test where Death Watch are bad for grots. They're very bad for grotesques. So we're gonna see how it can handle that kind of thing as as he as he heads into Adepticon and gets ready for for those those heater armies there. 100% brother. Yo, try to break down this uh, beautiful <clears throat> exact nuances of this Eldar list for me. Yeah, so it has a couple funky things and part of it is set up because Adepticon has some weird rules in place where you have to keep your psychic powers for the whole tournament and you can't change them game to game so you had to sort of select good ones that are more useful in all your matchups. So his Farseer has got the best two powers. It's Doom and Executioner. Uh, those are the most useful in most situations if you're playing Eldar. And then it's very, very good like that way. And then his Warlock has Protect Jinx and his, and the Spirit Stone of Anathalon for rerolls for the Psychic Test. And therefore the other spirits here has to pick conceal because you don't want too many overlapping powers when you can't change yeah yeah game uh, game. one second i'm gonna cut you off there i'm gonna jump over to youtube real quick make sure everything's popping off uh you'll be all by yourself for one second keep going brother okay and then we tried to throw in some cool stuff in this list as well and work some of the different angles because you can do some really cool things when we decide to add the archon to keep the cabal of the, the the black heart and use that strat through the, the entire game a uh, problem with just dark elevator warriors being your source of that deny power is that they can get easily killed when people bring mortars but an archon being a character and with a two plus invul you can't really pick him off and then you can use a really cool strat called uh, alliance of agony for one cp to give him the succubus and the one of the homunculuses a warlord trait so Juice is doing that here. So he's got Labyrinth of Cunning on his Archon. So on six ups, he can regen command points from both players uh, for every point spent. So there's a lot of utility. You're going to get a couple of CP back throughout the game with that one. And then he's got Diabolical Soothsayer on Durian. So he gets bonus D3 command points at the start of the game, which offsets some of the pregame points he's going to spend. And then my favorite is blood dancer on a trip tech witch trip tech whip succubus which is one of the coolest little dark eldar hidden gems i think that there is out there she's kind of like a solitaire light she doesn't do massive damage to individual characters but you can send her in to kind of blend up some units so what, what's going on there is the succubus has four base attacks takes the drugs for five the trip tech witch gives her plus three so she's sitting eight and then with Blood Dancer, any six plus to hit is three hits. Not three extra attacks, but just straight three hits. So when you think about Dark Eldar and start starting in, in the game at some point, 
they get bonuses to the to hits and this girl can go in and just start blundering. So I'm hoping that there's going to be a cool couple situations in this game where the succubus runs in and starts ripping and tearing at these death watch because a lot of the other dark elder elements are going to have a lot of trouble with those death watch shooting grotesques are going to just take a beating if they try to walk across this board so it, it looks like right now juice is holding maybe the grotesques in reserve to keep 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 them safe personally the one of my favorite tactics of all time uh is uh, Webway and your favorite units. Uh, ten grots are going into reserves, and eight man, and eight rangers in reserves, um, and shining spears, I believe. So, what is that? Is that using the dark Eldar Webway and the Eldar Webway together? Yep, because they have different names, so they're different strats. Yep, you and I have talked many times about a cool list similar to this. And you're actually mm -hmm. in the process of commission painting it for me. And uh, that's one of the prime, premier tactics is if, uh, you know, some of your best units, if you have an ability to deep strike them, uh, minimize your turn one targets and come in turn two safely. And Dark Eldar have this cool thing on turn two. Oh, yeah. They get reroll charges on turn two. So, well, so hmm. seems good. <laughs> seems good. <laughs> um, so it looks right here that like Juice has a grotesque unit in the magical box building which it'll keep it safe and he can use it as a counter tark unit because the death watch have that same cool rule they can deep strike in their death watch units so the veterans are going to come in and hit hard where, where they're, they're needed most while the uh, knights and guards stay on the board and provide firepower early game easily deep strike in one of the best rules in 40k still to this day even though it used to it's not a shadow of how gangster it used to be Still real good. Uh, Zidlik in chat, the assassin stratagem that brings you in does not create an additional detachment. It is a pregame strat and just creates an assassin, even though you don't have a detachment. Um, it's one of those cool new rules from White Dwarf for assassins that lets you bring them in without having to use a detachment, which Side lets the Imperial players... Let's the Imperial players play with assassins without having to waste detachments. So I just circled on your screen for you guys, the Magical Ruins. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are indeed the enclosed bunkers from ITC missions. You see these on a lot of tables. Not all of them, but you need to be prepared to interact with them. Uh, looks like uh, bottom right, uh, in addition to some baller grotesques, it looks like. It's also uh, the Hermoculi and the Archon of Farseer, I think, are hiding in there. Yeah, those two bike models in the bottom right corner, that's going to be the Farseer and the Warlock. Thanks they are rocking, but rocking bikes. Looking solid. No, it's a, this is a, t a tricky deployment map too. Like this, <clears throat> and anybody in their beat lab at home who like, you know, theory hammers their lists for their tournaments and does all that. I think we all are in a habit of uh, mentally getting into a like Dawn of War right straight across from each other headspace. What I'm gonna do when I'm straight across from any, when you play ITC, you roll up the you roll up the deployment randomly each game. Mm -hmm. uh, only like two out of six are sort of straight across. So you need to get used to playing on these further. You know, this deployment potentially is the furthest away you can be from somebody if, if somebody wanted to be. If somebody wanted to be in that back corner. That's real far. <laughs> yeah, not only real far is that if you put some of your screen units out on that front line. And then your good units deep in the corner, like it's really hard for anything, no matter what, if it's deep, most deep striking units don't deep strike in with 30 inch guns. Some do, but you could really even block people out very far in this deployment. It's one of the trickier deployments is the one that I, uh, theory the most looks like people are rolling dice. Mm. Gray rolled a six and somebody might be about to seize. Let's jump into the old dice cam. See if they're going to roll it over here or they're just going to go for it. Do we not have a dice box anymore? Oh, this is new. Is the B? Oh, yeah, that's right. The uh, chess clock is a hill. Yep, chess clock's a hill. It's not. That's not a. It's not a dice box anymore. Got the big casino dice. Easy to see on the table. I like that. So, have you run down secondaries? No, I have not. It looks like. Did you keep engineers? Because we were kind of trying to talk him out of it. But. I think he was. I don't even I actually haven't even looked at the new ones, so I don't even know what engineers. It's like, sorry. All right, oh, one second. Yep. Yeah, so, 
Gray won the roll off, and he's forcing Jewel Juice to go first. And then Gray picked Headhunter, Gangbusters, and Butcher's Bill as his three secondaries. And last time we talked to Juice, it was Kingslayer marked for death, where he marked the three veteran units and one Helbrin. And Engineers, which is where he's going to use two units of racks and try to hold an objective four times in the game. We will get confirmation if that's what he stuck with. But now, that's exactly, now walk me through that again. <clears throat> How does the engineers work? Um, he has to pick two units that are not characters, mark them as engineers, and they're the only ones that can score that objective and and hold, for a turn like progressive mission type objectives. But only those units can do it. Cool, cool. And he picked two rack units to try and get value out of his racks, and. So it looks like he's going to try and hold objective three with them for the whole game in that back corner. And so those are his engineers. So he's going to try and keep them out of range, out of line of sight, behind behind that ruin or that enclosed box and continue to hold that objective for a couple turns. He only has to score it four times. So four turns, if the racks are still alive, he, uh, he'll, have that, he'll have that secondary locked up. Ten four, looking good. Um, I haven't, yeah. Engineers, is, I think. I think that's. A, I haven't. That's a new one, but I think that is. It's, it's a Nova rule. That's a no. It's yeah, it's a Nova. throwback from Nova. That's right. That's what it is. So throwing that one in the in the mission scheme right there. So headhunter. I mean, sorry. Mark for death makes a lot of sense because you gotta fucking kill those veterans. Or you're not winning the game. Uh, um, and Kingslayer had obvious choice against a single knight character. Yeah, single knight character, Kingslayer is a great choice. You can pick that up pretty easily. You don't even have to finish the knight. So they're off into the magic phase already. Uh, um, and also the people all the way in the back are the engineers. Uh, we're pre casting protect on the rangers. It goes off. Conceal does not go off. We're doing magic right now. Gray did force Juice to go first. He wants the dominance of going second. And since uh, the Eldar have uh, put a lot of thought into safely going second, you know, by putting dudes in reserves and everything like that, I think uh, Death Watch are feeling confident. Yeah, and the importance of going second here, right, is can't be overstated because what it does mostly is it forces your opponent's reserves to have to come in before yours. So if he's holding, if Gray's holding his Death Watcher in reserve and Juice is holding his big heavy hitters in reserve, now you know, even if they both try to play it slow, Juices have to come in first, have to hit the board. So that could, that leaves Gray full advantage to, you know, take advantage, to, to drop his guys in and shoot Juices. That's always a solid tactic because I see him take the center. Um, how do you feel going first right now? Um, like, what, what would your game plan be as the Eldar, like, right now? Do you just... Try to grab a couple points, lose some units, and then know you're going to come back hard. Um, how is he going to interact with that knight? Ah, uh, patience. You got, you got, you got to preach patience here. You can't, you can't try to care about points too much in in this early going. Your, your heavy hitters aren't in. You're gonna, you're gonna come in hard. Turn two, turn three. Try to make some charges. Try to really mix it up with the guard. Because what what happens now is Juice has to come in first. But now if he, if he does come in first. And he makes a couple of those charges, locks up some of the guardman units as they try to spread out on the board and push people away from the knights. Then he gets that advantage that if he's locked in combat, the Death Watch coming in don't do anything. And then the whole that whole dynamic shifts. So if it could come down to some turn two, turn three charges by Juice, that if he makes them, locks up with with say this this Helbrin that's way off on the bottom corner of the screen. That Helbrin's not good combat. If he if he junks in his his grotesques, makes a charge, ties it up, doesn't try to kill it, just tries to hold it for a second, and then kills it on Gray's turn, he could be comboing off that and heading into to Gray's backline. Because especially if if the Shining Spears and the grotesques charge that one Helbrin, sit with it for a second. You're, what are you going to send in to charge? Even that knight's not that great in combat. Well, let me so just illustrate <laughs> world's fastest turn one. Uh, I, we're, we're witnessing right now. Uh, 
does a damage to the Helvrin, uh, and Eldar holds an objective. So two, right? Or or holds. He currently holds. Yeah. So that's his deal. He is held. Yep. He is not killed. He is just waiting and being patient as you preached, preparing for turn two. This has happened to me a lot at, at LVO and stuff like that. I give up. I lose turn one a lot. I lose a lot of points playing Eldar. You have to just be patient. And, this, and if your army is designed to be patient because you're spending, you're putting so many of your points in reserve, you're not spending a lot of points on long range shooting. You're more of a combat list. You have to be patient. You can't just look at that 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 scoreboard and be like, I'm behind already. It, it, that's that's got to be part of your game plan. Um, patience is the name of the game in 40k as I watch this I'm watching um, the death watch salivate over this potential uh, <laughs> murder spree he's setting up his units he's trying to get in position but there isn't a lot to interact with and that's what's interesting about the webway tactics a lot of the juiciest units are going to show up later so he kind of has to fan out and kind of and just force the deep strike to a location he's prepared for yeah um, and the objective placement in this isn't really beneficial for Gray. Combined with the deployment, if it had been more of a straight head deployment, he could have probably pushed those guardsmen to the center of the board, blocked off a bunch of these objectives, and created a real headache for Juice. This deployment is a little more in Juice's favor, I think, because of how deep set it was. The only units in Juice's army that are kind of out of the game right now is that one unit of grotesques that's in the bunker. I just I don't know if he's going to get uh, value out of them because of how far away they're going to be as this game goes on. They probably needed to be in deep strike, but we'll see. He may be able if 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 he's able to draw the Death Watch in and make some good counter charges with them or tie up death watch at, at a certain point in the game to deny shooting for a turn then those grotesques could maybe make a boogie down book across the board and and, and make some charges that's accurate as accurate as it sounds to me i agree i think um i feel like maybe a few units of death watch should have definitely deep strike um but you know but then what what would have uh eldar done you know what I mean? Like, so it's hard to go back in time sometimes on those statements. The Death Watch did deep strike, didn't they? I don't see any of them on the board. I don't see any of them on the board. Oh, yeah, look, they're up there in the side panel. You're right. Um, look, I'm, I'm a little further above the table than I'm used to. Oh, those are guardsmen, I believe, doing some yeah. orders. Order, they're move, move, moving. They're move, move, moving across the board. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Believe, I, I believe all the Death Watch are in reserve. Yep, the guard are shooting some mortars in the back uh, on this little unit over here. They're doing some wounds. Uh, I think they're going to have similar turn ones. They're going to hold some stuff. Uh, if that knight can get eyes on somebody, which it probably will, it'll probably clean up a unit. Mm -hmm. So this might be like, you know, like I said, a low score, like you said, a low scoring turn one probably goes to the death watch player. Uh, Captain Sander, these objective markers, I believe are made by 3d six miniatures. Um, I think we can confirm that. I believe, yeah, someone gave me a confirmation on that. Guys, if you're watching this on Twitch, all you got to do is type in exclamation point lists if you want to see a breakdown of the lists so you can follow along at home while these two gladiators go to battle. Are those a unit of racks on that hill? Is that what's going on right there, Sean? Where, in the middle of the board? Uh, off to the right on the diamond, on the on the crystals. Though that's probably rangers, I would I would, I would, would hazard. Then Any eight-man eight man, unit. Eight man, he has three eight-man units of rangers. So I would say Rangers to the right, Rangers bottom left, racks in the middle, racks in the back, and he deep struck one Ranger. So, so if you're counting eight, I think it's Rangers. Yeah, it's kind of big unit. And what kind of cover save do they have right now? Two units uh, of Rangers. Actually, yeah, two units of Rangers and reserves. Um, Rangers and cover are three up, so they're pretty solid against mortars with neg one to hit. Juice's Eldar are Bealton. The whole detachment is a Bealton. It, it is a pure Bealton detachment. Bealton have a great relic, the Spirit Stone of Anathalin, um, with. Oh, the Rangers also have protect. So these yeah, are, the so are these protect. Rangers? Is this the target because he can't see anything else? Yeah, he might have not have ranged anything else with 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 some of these. And that shot clock is a piece of terrain, so that unit in the middle is probably pretty hidden. Except from the mortars, but yeah. 
Yeah, uh, Rangers are three plus in cover because they are a five plus base save, and they get plus two for cover. Natural, naturally. Nice. <clears throat> so here comes. And the they night. are na- they are naturally neg one to hit. Alataka obviously are negative two outside twelve, but these are Bealtons, so they're just going to be negative one. I think and, I think rapid fire battle cannon is going to go after him right now, or maybe uh, this is apparently the Vindicare shooting. Oh, Vindicare. He's just shooting a rack. He doesn't have targets on characters. No eyes on. Hey, rolls that one. Solid Vindicari assassin. Good job, Vindicari assassin. It happens. <laughs> no, no, no big deal, Master Strider. If you put if you put the quote if you put the question mark though, I will answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I think w- one of the ranged units was, as as Kenny mentioned, protected for a two plus cover save, which is pretty pretty cool tech. Um, but yeah, they're Bealtan, as I was saying, because of that cool that awesome relic. Obviously, most people play Yanari Eldar, so you can have your spirits here be a Bealtan while not messing up the rest of your detachment. He's shooting another but, just real quick. He's shooting a missile pod, which is also indirect, I believe, into another unit he can't see. Yep, missile pods indirect confirmed. And, uh, but the other neat thing about Bealtan is obviously for Shining Spears, the Court of the Young King stratagem gives them plus two to charge when they come in from reserve to try and make sick seven inch charges instead of nine inch charges. So he's shooting the big gun, <clears throat> exploding sixes now. Uh, I wonder where he's shooting. I mean, it's got to be a ranger unit or a ranger unit <laughs> in my mind. Uh, maybe some racks. Yeah, it looks but, like racks because he didn't ro- he didn't hit on fours and he's not wounding. There we go. Oh my god, look at those four vulnerables and a sixth of funeral pain. He literally did he literally kill three kill three racks with all that. So one rack left. I think it's a little off screen for us, isn't it? There they are. I just shifted the screen. Oh, going. the one on the objective. Holding it. Ooh, he's got one left holding it. And I think, is he is he literally shooting the rapid fire battle cannon? Oh, heavy stubber into it. Battle cannon into it. Oh my god, he's going to kill this one rack with a rapid fire battle cannon. Hmm. Oh, it did. Oh, it's so dead. He gone. <laughs> 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 Commitment right there. I'm 100% behind that, that choice. So it kills a unit and oh, yeah. takes away his ability to hold a unit. Uh, but he still is out being out held, right? No, it's, it, he ties the holding two to two. So it's a fun way to get a couple of extra points and stop, get an extra point and stop your opponent from getting an extra point on turn one. No, the uh, the guard here now will have two objectives to one, for sure. The middle objective is held by Eldar. The back right objective is held by Eldar. How is the middle one held by Eldar? I They're see, not on it. I see some pink dude. Oh, I see. They're not remember, on, they have remember to with, the with plane. The, they have to touch the the actual objective unless they they were saying it was wobbly and he was there, but I, I don't just from yeah. See now he's gonna hold it because he's moving underneath the yep. neoprene. You you you're um, right you're right you're right. So that was a good play. So it's a, as you said, it's just like you play your Eldar low scoring turn ones. Um, mm-hmm. and Eldar only pick up one point. They, they held. Yep. But the Death Watch pick up four. They held. Yeah. They killed. They killed more. They held more. And um, five. I guess uh, did Gray pull down one of his uh, secondaries there? Did he pick up a Butcher's Bill maybe? I think it. Butcher's Bill. Killed. Confirmed. Butcher's Bill. Confirmed. So yeah, big turn. Big that's, turn. That's the, that's the rub sometimes. Yep. Now Juice has two turns that he needs to be killer in. He needs to be killer in either turn three and turn four or turns two and turns turns three these those guys are, those... are already on turn two with plenty of time left in the clock uh he needs to make a charge he needs to bring these dudes in he needs to get that plus two charge stratagem you talked about he needs to get that reroll, hit that nine with the grotesque and that could be what's he that's 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 easy day right that's an easy day Mm-hmm. <laughs> that'll that'll be the big thing if he can if he can make that nine with with grotesques um these grotesques are advancing out. 
three is a median roll. I'd probably re-roll three. Uh, Dark Eldar have that sweet turn two of re-roll charges, re-roll advances, which is amazing. I'd I'd usually re-roll three is three, right but... on the three is on the on, on the cusp of like, do do I re-roll this or do I not re-roll this? And he might have pre-measured and realized the three was just enough, and he doesn't want to risk rolling a one. But for his movement, because he looks like he's trying to use this hill. But there is, and, there is and, an internal discussion that takes place when you roll that three, and you know you have a free re-roll. I used to mm. play Mall of Fiends that had that too, and I would sit there on a three and be like, am I going to fucking do it? You know what I mean? And half the time I roll a four, half the time I roll less than a three, you know? Yeah. Because he's got to use this terrain to try and keep that knight from getting eyes on the prize. But he's also got to worry about these Death Watch, and now maybe he can screen him out with his units coming down. And then hopefully screen them out because he's got to worry about his backfield from the death watch coming in he's got to worry about this front field because i think up near that objective five right in the middle of the board kenny a unit death watch or two dropping in right there is going to let him light up these grotesques so he's going to have to find a way to to block that out and screen them out to keep to keep because they they'll, they'll have 12 inch range you don't get the Bayed Balter rule when you deep strike because you have moved. So it looks like he's deep striking in a unit of Rangers to block that section out. In the top Which right is... quadrant. Yep. So that's that's a good solid move. Uh, I wonder if they're just measuring this out or if he's finished actually moving all the rest of his units already. Um, a lot of times in games, you just talk about your opponent. It's usually better to just deep strike them at some point or put the models close to where you want them for deep striking it just speeds up the game um it's just a it's just a it's because it's a pre-measure thing you could put just dice down to represent these models and be like let me move the rest of my models and and take care of it but as long as you discuss things with your opponent that that's the key to having a great game of 40k is, is if you discuss everything you're doing with your opponent there's no gotcha moments and, and you just keep everything moving and and rocking and you see juice with these this is a great game aid is to bring a just a nine inch hard ruler and he can measure out everything pretty clutch great move so it seems like he is moving just those units he's only bringing in the rangers so his heavy hitters are still in reserve which means he's pl he's playing that catch and mouse game and he's going for that huge turns three and four those will be the the, the baby makers so he's actually, you think he's actually going to go for that big turn three? Or is he is he reaching for his spears right now? Oh, he might be reaching for him. He might he, be reaching for the move. He's reaching for, there they are. There they are. There's the, they're, they're those beautiful girls. Mm. So this will be a key move. Let's, see, you, let's, let's see. He's probably going to have to set up kind of like this and this L right here. Um, he's probably going to hit, yeah, I mean, with that plus two relic, right, they, they, they're they going to be able to benefit from it over here because they're going to have that person next to him, or what's the deal there? The the plus two strat is, is just a strat. There's no range. Oh, it's just strat on, for Beal just, Town. Just, just, just a strat for a Beal Town unit that contains uh, Exarch. So it's an aspect unit strat. So they're going to be able to get hit this big charge, hopefully, engage a couple of units. Looks like he's, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about the angle he wants to hit. He's thinking about the fail fail rate yeah and if he fails then he's got a he's holding yeah so what he's gonna want to do i think here is you light up the infantry um and then charge this helvrin he could light up the helvrin try to weaken it a lot is also is another option because it does have uh you know like 11 more wounds yeah so if you light up the helvrin as long as it doesn't die you're fine because then you charge, you fight with a single spear using a close combat weapon instead of the regular spear. Or if it has a bunch of wounds left, you, you do the math on how many you could do to not kill it. And surround you it. Don't, you don't want to die. You want it to just live. It's not very good in combat. You you, you shoot it, charge it, and then tie it up. Or yeah. you swing, or you, you shoot, you charge the guardsman too, and you swing most of your attacks on the guardsman, clear the guardsman. And then so surround it, either, this thing. Either option is a sound one. Yep, solid move. And and I think it has been acknowledged that if he doesn't make these charges, it's going to be a bad game for him. Yeah. And to that effect, you might have brought the other grotesque unit in too. It might have been 
the right move. Just cast Conceal, by the way. <clears throat> conceal is up. Uh, and Protect. Protect on the uh, Rangers. Yeah, and, and this is this is a this is an inexperienced Eldar player play here. If he was going to bring the spears in, you would have wanted to cast protect and conceal on the spears. Because let's be real, if they don't make this charge, they're getting shot, and it's going to be bad. But if they have protect conceal and you can play lightning fast reflexes on them, they don't even care about that night shooting really. Because that neg, neg two to hit with a three up in ball, they don't care. But they're kind of in the wind now. This this looks like it it was a mixed plan on on his turn where he had one plan and then he kind of option selected to bring the spears in halfway through the turn, which we all go. I do it all the time where I have this sick plan in my head, get, get what, get, get it, get in there. And then I they start moving models around and, and for, forget, you know, so we'll see. Eldar's uh, taking some <clears throat> pop shots on the Elvrin. <clears throat> did a wound. He's just going to start doing his thing, going through the shooting phase. It's really going to be about making, I guess, yeah. this one charge that he has. He, he might try to charge the other Rangers, I guess, in there. I don't know. Yeah, so another great thing about Bealtown is they get re-rolled to ones with the Shuriken Fire. So they can light up this Helvern pretty well and take it down a bit. They won't kill it. So I think I think you can safely shoot it with a bunch of them and then, and then still make the charge and do the wrap game. The lower wounds you can get it to before you have to make it into combat with it without killing it means that you can more reliably kill it on your opponent's turn and free up the the spears. But Juice also has a lot of command points in this list with triple battalion, so he can always spend two to act normal if he leaves anyway. Yunari lists do similar things where they leave combats and then use strength from death to charge back in. There's a lot of tricks and tricks of the trade you can do with, I love with, that uh, strategy. with, with spears. The, the pocket fall back and still interact stratagem. Mm -hmm. It's a great one. Um, that's I mean, this why spears are so good. They have fly. They can leave combat and still shoot. They, you, you have just tons of options. So looks like he's trying to shoot the guardsman. As we, we speculated, he might pick up that, that kill, 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 kill. Um, put some wounds on the Helverin and then charge it and then do, do some fun things to it later. So, But he's definitely gone all in. He's got to make this seven inch charge. He seems pretty confident because with no powers on the spears, they are at the mercy of the opposing arm. Yeah, it's a hundred percent what you said it's gonna have to be. He's gonna have to make that charge in the hell and wrap it, stay alive, don't get shot. Then the whole plan was perfect. Yeah, then then you can't question the plan, then the plan is great. Um yeah. where you question it is if 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 the charge fails. Yeah. So it's opt he's trying to optimize and put those nuts on the table. Mm. Oh, we all go there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just lit up seven <clears throat> guardsmen in the unit. Two, uh, three left on my count, or two in a mortar maybe. Yeah, they they might not kill it, Spa Space Pope. Uh, but if you took the Helverin down to say like four wounds, I think they could reliably kill it even at strength three. Uh, you got to remember the Exarch rerolls to wound, and they are still negative four with two damage each, even though they are strength three. He's, so putting, he's putting a couple spears, spears into the Helvern, though, too, by the way. Yeah. Just as, as speculated. Yeah, and even on the charge, he, you pick you, you pick a couple fight with real weapons, wound it a bit. You just don't want to kill it. You, you, you can't risk killing it. You don't attack it with enough to, to kill it. You, you attack yeah. it with the Exarch because he's strength eight, we rolled a wound. As, as, and then so he'll max do six wounds and it's better because you can just fall back and use the stratagem to, to do stuff anyway so yeah so, so you don't have to you don't you even don't have, have to, to have kill this there. guy he, he, all that matters is he stays alive <laughs> yes <laughs> you could just say I don't care about you you stupid <laughs> this is where a lot of uh, high level play is about to take place down here Ladies and gentlemen. Charging the spears into the hell and the guard. Is this the roll? Uh, he rolled a 10. No overwatch hits. Uh, 
And uh, Juice got a reroll. Has got, has got a roll for his Archon when he's making these strat using these strats. He can. Uh, he gets two command points back, possibly, uh, unless he's already done it this turn. So, okay, Ooh. so this is the roll. So that's, sticks the nine. So that's an eleven. It's an eleven, that's, which is gonna wrap the shit out of this guy. Yeah, he's easily. gonna wrap the shit out of it. Because you don't even actually have to wrap him. You just have to crest the fifty percent plane on one side. On, yeah, a, on, so, a, on a circular base like that, and then he can't actually fit through. There's actually a spot you don't actually have to put a guy. Yeah, you just need to get past the the hump. Yeah, the the fifty percent. Like line. right there. Like now, he literally, once he activates and pushes in, it's also he's also being careful not to actually make base contact with the with the model. Yeah, it's, we call that we, we so you can rotate around it. He, he's trying to think about holding to this objective too, which I don't think is necessarily worth it or or necessary, but. He's trying to make. He's trying to make it's it an possible. option. He's trying to make it possible. Yep. And he can do it. Maximize the points. So this is a big play. I think it's pretty much been accomplished. That roll was pretty much all we depended on here. Yeah, and even making this charge, I still think the play is to have all the powers cast on the spears, <laughs> at least protect. Yeah, but um, uh, he is notorious for. Uh, going going big big dick <laughs> yeah let's let's be fair that's real but he i mean he made the charge so yeah. all the things we said about the spears being left to the wind they aren't they aren't they're good perfect they're plan good to go genius perfect play. plan <laughs> genius play <laughs> so now he's probably going to use two of them three of them maybe to pick up this guard unit get that kill get that kill one get that point and then maybe throw some wounds on the helfrin pile in finish his turn Kill one, hold one. He'll be holding two, three of them. So. Some slap attacks right here, possibly. Possibly. Um, they might be, it's just dead guardsmen. Those are, those are spear attacks. Those are real attacks. Just like we said. Uh. Take out those guardsmen all day, every day. Got that kill. <clears throat> now let me get some slap damage on this Helverin. Keep it alive. He might be mathing out exactly the max amount of damage he can do. So there's no way to actually blow it up. What, once Especially it, when you roll like that. Yeah, that ain't gonna matter. <laughs> ain't gonna matter. <laughs> so this is where you'd want Protect too, because now they only have a 3-up save, so the Helverin can do some damage to them. I mean, the Helverin's not good in combat, but I'd rather have a 2-up save than a 3-up save. Um, and but when you roll each. a one, they are two wounds each. So, but when you roll a one, I guess it didn't matter what protect yeah. you hey, would genius. have. Genius. Well, you're questioning this man's genius. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I questioning him? <laughs> <laughs> did he just use a reroll on that? He did. Ugh. <laughs> did he? Did he? Use, did he try to get the command point back? He did. And he did not. He, he did not get it back. He did not get it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He'll get the next one back. <laughs> uh, I have not played much against the new GSC. I have uh, some games lined up for next week. I have actually not played 40k since LVO. When was that? It's forever ago. Yeah, uh, literally a month and a half ago. Mm. Roughly. So I have some games lined up for next weekend to remind me what 40k is before before Adepticon. Right there with you, and I am indeed going to Adepticon now. It's on the table again, mm. and uh, I am not am not even aware of being on a wait list for anything. I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm not on the wait list. I not in the tournament yet, so hopefully I will get to play in the singles. If not, Kenny and I may be roaming the halls of Adepticon playing random strangers in 40k with a camera in our hands. Hopefully. Um. Now we are. That is the conclusion of turn two. Juice's turn too. Juice's turn. This two. is now we're in bottom two. Now so now we're bottom two. That was I had it backwards. So <clears throat> retaliation phase. What is gonna happen in this phase? Juice is holding three. Yep. Uh Gray is holding two. So just to tie it, he has to clear out the center unit. Which is completely doable, I think, if he moves that night. Right here. Yeah, the knights might be able to charge these spears too, which again comes back to, I'm going to bring up this protect, should have been on them several times, but 
the these knights only it doesn't have any swords, so it, it only has stompy feet. Still, it, it rerolls ones though. But it rerolls ones, and the stompy feet are what neg two, so the spears are sitting with a d three damage, and d three damage each. So that's a tough one for me. I I, I would have liked to have. Oh, did you see my Madden measuring was exactly 12 inches based on that? Uh... Nice. <laughs> His fingers right where my arrow is. Ah, I'm a fucking goddamn genius. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yep. So I think he's going in there and he's going to make going to make that charge. Yep. That's bad. So that that's so that if could be this bad. happens, we're back to questioning the plan. <laughs> now we're back to questioning the plan. Um <laughs> and now you can see everything so that's a, a beautiful placement by death watch over here if you think about it because now he can actually see these guys you can see this he can actually clear this objective right here and get this combat therefore killing a unit taking an objective away from him and crushing the unprotected spears right meow that's a bad day if, if all that happens right now that's a bad turn for, uh, yeah, Eldar. and this is something where we t we talked about early in the game. And protect would help them in combat. They'd still they'd get a four up because they'd go two up to four up. It doesn't have a that many negatives. I believe the feet are only negative two. There, I wanted the grots and the spears to come in and both try to make that charge because if they're both holding that that helper, right? The spears can hold the bottom half of the table. And the Grotz, if they'd made a long enough charge, or if, even if they just make the charge, they just pile in twice. And they get to the top side of the Helvrin, and then the Knight has to charge Grotesques. And that's not a great option for it. There we go. Move, move, move. These Guardsmen are coming in. Now, are they <clears throat> cresting the objective uh, <clears throat> boots on the ground, Dan? And you guys just push, placing them there? I can get it. feedback. That'd be nice to know. Got some, got some hands. They're trying to figure out where to put these death watch deep strikers. I think that's what they're trying to figure out. Beats Live Gaming, aka Boots on the Ground Down. Boots on the Ground Dan. We're fine. We did have, we did have some audio issues a little bit earlier, but we're fine now. Yeah, so this night could be a big problem here on this turn. I mean, then again, we we could also talk about the knight could fail this charge, and then Juice continues to look like a genius. Yeah. I mean, fuck. It could just keep going back and forth. We could just... <laughs> we could keep saying, poor play right here. Nope. Works out. <laughs> uh, boots on the ground, Dan. Are the guardsmen in the center actually wobbly, modelly holding objective four? Yeah, he said he's got the middle objective. Yes, That's got what it. I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Conf confirmed. So now he's going to hold kill... He might kill two units. We'll see. I don't fucking know what's gonna happen here. He probably won't. He probably kill. No, he'll kill. Oh yeah, Death Watcher here. He'll 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 outkill this turn, and outscore this turn. Again. Mm-hmm. And Butcher's Bill is what is. Yeah. Uh, I'm predicting. I'm predicting another five point turn right here, for Gray. Yeah, and this is this is this is the worry I said with you. You didn't when you have deep striking units at Eldar. Sometimes you're like. Sometimes it is the right play to come in, drip drop every turn, bring somebody in, bring somebody in, keep keep that going. But sometimes you, you got to come in ham. I've seen you. Do. I, actually, I saw you beat. Uh, I saw you beat Juice's similar list. Uh, the list. I saw you beat him by literally setting up on the gun line, not not giving a fuck. Yeah, and then turn two, just deep striking everybody in, mm -hmm. coming in hard. And you set your you haywire know, bikes up on the gun line. You set all your damage units up, and you're like, I better, I'll go first. Don't worry. Like, I remember, and I remember questioning it. I was like, "Damn, my balls aren't that big." I would have mm. hit in the webway. <laughs> Sometimes you got to. But all right, we're in the shooting phase. Mortars are going to the backfield. 
Um, I'm probably gonna try to clean up those three dudes, chilling uh, right here. I would imagine this is where the mortars are going. Trying to clean up some of these racks. Two dead, two, two gone. Keep one on the table. Two more shots, miss. He's got one more mortar. They're checking a lot of sight now. Hmm. Trying trying to see those grotesques with that knight. See what he wants to do. Four guardsmen can see this dude. That's what they've determined. <clears throat> so they are shooting. One wound. Juice appears to have passed it. All right, so the Death Watch are going to light up the Rangers, probably, it looks like. This is almost a... This is a make him roll it out to burn his time situation, because they're gone. <laughs> they're negative two to hit. They're negative two to hit? I thought they were negative one to hit. Yeah, but he cast Conceal on them. Oh, that's so right. They're so now they're negative two. That's right. They're minus two and plus one of the cover save. But they, yeah, plus, but they don't have cover. If they were two up, if they were actually in cover, yeah, you could say that, but they, they have a four up save. So, nah. They might not die. They might not die with that neg two. Is conceal, is conceal a raw two or a raw one? It's a raw one. L and Rangers, and Rangers are have one. a built in one. Yeah. So. But okay, now they fours is, probably. If he has a Watchmaster, die. he can reroll ones and twos, right? He can reroll ones and twos if they're in range, but he can't reroll the three ups, and he doesn't hit on that four that was one of them. Yep, take it out. Eyes in the skies have got you got you on that one. So <laughs> Watchmaster not in range. Confirmed. Yeah, these guys actually might might survive this. Nah, six wounds so far. They probably did. It's an eight man squad? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in theory, they're close because it's 50%, but he's got to roll 11. 11 saves. Total. I think they're dead. I mean, is that four up saves? Yeah. No, they'll be all right. Six dead, two alive. That's not good. They dead. They gone. <laughs> He'll be fine. Just don't walk. Stonewall has begun. I mean, morale's going to take him. I, I mean, you could spend two to keep him alive, but I don't. I don't know that that's a valuable use of CP. <laughs> <laughs> when you might, when you might be needing yeah, those, it's those the two ball, CP. Baby, to keep... you can't, you can't, can't hold back now. Well, you might, you might need to do those two CP to keep these spears alive. You are going to absolutely, spears... unless something miraculous happens you're probably gonna need that for the spears unless that knight scrubs it up but he's gonna hit on threes we roll ones strength they gonna wound on twos he's gonna do a lot of damage to that unit yeah but i've but i've seen i've seen the knight not kill shit so yeah i mean he'll probably use two cp to make the knight neg one to hit against the spears but i mean it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough for the spears to live to live through that it's a it's a, it's a tough situation. They definitely, I think, needed the support. If it was Grotz and Spears, and the knight had to come over and charge Grotesques and then get countercharged by Spears, that's a tough situation for the knight to want to be in. Yeah, Helverin looks like he's picking on a Grotesque. Helverin has got the right kind of weapon to fuck with them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Use the CP reroll, it looks like, to keep this guy in the game. Did not gain it back. Hmm. Juice likes to use CP rerolls instead of he, cool CP strats. He uh, he does. That's <laughs> back when we didn't even have strategies and all we had was rerolls. He'd be like, I use all my rerolls in the first two turns. <laughs> he loves rerolls. <laughs> loves re -rolls. <laughs> but Juice is uh, burning through those CPs left to right. He's only got sixteen left. Oh, only. <laughs> <laughs> I 
forgot to change the turn on the hobo. We're on turn two. We're actually about to be on turn three. Sorry for that graphical anomaly. Stubborn to the center unit. That's a great placement. It only kills one though. Bringing that heat. The knight is engaging. The knight is going to clean that unit up. And that's why I think he's save, probably saving some bullets for the grotesques. 16 left, and he started the game with 15, by the way. Yeah, I think there's some math going wrong in here. He only got three shot with the battle cannon. Seems like a poor number. That's bad. He kills a grot. A grot. The wounded one. <laughs> <laughs> the one that had a single wound left. Uh, but this Gatling cannon, this relic Gatling cannon is good against the grotesques as well. One's on, one's on fours though. Yeah. But still, anytime you make an a It's a lot of shots. Stage. It's more shots than they're comfortable with, for sure, but they are built to withstand this type of firepower. Uh, all hit, and he gained three from sixes. See, he's gonna roll, and you got to roll fours to wound. He's got a clutch of fours in there. I He might lose two grots if he rolls poorly. He did not roll poorly. He's going to lose one. Unless he rolls some banging sixes right now. He does not. He loses a grot and a half. Hmm. Yeah, we're trying to get a CP confirmation here. Something's not adding up. The big roll's coming, though. This knight. This knight. Fail a charge. It's game on. This Pass knight, the charge. This knight has to make a pretty easy charge with a CP reroll built in. 12 CPs. That's that's the that's the answer. There's 12 left. Both at 12. Still plenty to work with. We're still in the double digits. <clears throat> going into turn three. They're both going to burn some, I, I predict, right, real quick. Anxious to see what happens. Is this guard unit going to try to charge? Overwatch. Loses a guardsman. Put a wound on that mortar. <laughs> Ooh, that's the one you wanted to see for the night. Oh, yes. He got it out of the way. He got it out of the way. Good, got good it move. Out of the way. Veteran move right there. <laughs> Vet veteran move. This is what I like to see. <laughs> you make sure to roll the dumb charge first, except when you're gonna roll the if the big number. So if you, if you know your dice are low. I don't know what all these single dice rolls are. They're making me nervous. <laughs> Did he re-roll this? Did he Did CP he this? The, he CP'd this charge? Oh my fucking god. I don't know what's happening. Oh, he better not fail it with the knight now. Oh my god. Oh, he tempted fate. He had he had he had are, fate right. You are spitting in Gray, the eye. You had, fate, you had fate right and you tempted it. Don't roll this double you once have to right know, now. You have to know when to spit in Sideblinder's eye. And th this might not be that moment. This might not be that moment. <laughs> oh, he uh, don't care. Okay. Huh? Fuck fuck Sideblinder. <laughs> he don't mean he don't he ain't shit. <laughs> he ain't shit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dog, I'm gonna roll one under twelve. Don't worry. <laughs> Get over yourselves, you shot casting hobos. Don't know shit about this game. <laughs> so, lightning fast reflexes is up. Minus one to hit. Engaged. He's going to try to mitigate this night damage right now. This is a big roll. This is a big roll. He, if he, he can cripple these spears right now. And nothing worse than having your baller ass spear unit crippled before they got to do anything. Yep. It's a bad day. It so, happens. It happens, though. Yep. So they're going to hit on fours because of this lightning fast reflexes, and they're going to reroll the ones. Oh, my God. Oh, Grass. all those ones. Look at all those fours, too. Oh. oh. Good start. Good start. Good now start. Now we're in on twos. Does he get the reroll ones on the on the wounds, too, on the first round of combat? 
Not familiar. Nope. So he's got what? Five? So count the fours. He's got a five. Count the fours. The fours would have lived if he uh So six. that's one he would have converted one if he had protect. So not so three get big. through. So he has to see it nice to make him roll the D3s one by one. No, you gotta make him roll the D3s. Roll the big number first to kill the wounded guy. Yep. So then, and then roll double back to back ones. So then you only lose two bikes. Yeah, that's that's what you, that's what uh, Eldar need to happen. Now, obviously, if this man just rolls average, he kills three bikes. Yep. Oh, yeah, is he lock. thinking about is is he thinking about rerolling one of these? Oh, oh, he is. Of course, he is. Oh, he is, ladies and gentlemen. Can't hold anything back now. We are pointing at the table. We are gesturing Conversing. with hands. He's gesturing, thinking. Does he re-roll one? I mean, if he had a four up, he'd have already passed one of these. The re-roll it like a gangster. Oh. Yeah. Do you get the CP back? Oh, he can't. He already got one back this turn. Can't I think he didn't get one back yet. So he kills the first one, kills the second one, and <clears throat> does it kill three bikes? Does he kill three bikes? Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, he does. Uh, bad day. Bad, bad, bad time. Bad, day. <laughs> bad times. <laughs> bad times. Bad times. Yeah. So, would have only lost two if he was protected. Two is better than three. So, not a huge... Net, we'll see as the game, uh, um, you know, uh, plays out. But <clears throat> that's a bad place. The bikes are still viable. You know, they're four. They're still strong. They have speed. So now they just kind of have a different role, in my opinion. Yep. Um, I think there's a mistake here too. If you're if you're looking at it, he left the bike on the objective, so that th breaks I, the coherency. Can't you can't you pull casualties in any way you want? But you just have to form coherency back in the movement. I thought you're allowed. I thought you're 100 allowed to pull casualty however you want. And I think no, no, he hundred percent, he hundred percent is, but I think the guard player is about to take more objectives anyway, regardless of he, if he had two, the, uh, so the guard you, player is going to have three anyway. So the the fact is that I now see. that they're saying a it's a misplay, he, him trying to hold that objective. him trying to hold objective is a misplay to me because now he's not going to be able to. Because what I would do now is I would send these bikes into that backfield, charge those mortars in 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 that top screen, and start to clear up that and just like be a terror to the backside of this army. Run away from the knight, make yeah, the knight that's what I'm turn saying. around. The role reversal, they're backfield now. They gotta go backfield. Now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just just go in the back, go crazy. Um, don't worry about 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 these knights and stuff and just like, just go go ham. But it does so, look, but, yes, agreed, 100%. So he's, he's ham fisting that, or he's, he's reducing his options because he, he, he can't pile in, he can't move that that guy. Um, and, and so that, that, that limits him, it's gonna limit him. For sure. We'll see. Halvern's attacking all four hits. <clears throat> or maybe these are spears, maybe. These are spears. This is, this is the Exarch. He's got three attacks. He's strength three, uh, but he rerolls to wound against vehicles. Winning on sixes against the Halvern, rerolling sixes. Is that it? Yeah. They're all, they're all strength three. Um, and then the, the Exarch gets to reroll. So he'll wound once. It's neg four, two damage. And... Uh, so the Helvern doesn't have a save; it just takes two. Just takes two. Um, the regular guys also another six. It's a negative, negative four, another two damage. So four damage total to whatever he swung at. Big knight, small knight. Right the hell. All all the knights in between. Um, yep. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, but he's limited now. Now he's got. Now he's gotta interact. I think in this mid board he can't run away with with the spears and be a nuisance so we'll, we'll see what his what his options are there it's tricky um, too because as we both know <clears throat> grotesques are not optimized to killing knights no they can do it they can for but sure they can do, do it. they can do it but you i mean but they're not optimized uh that's not their best role but they are capable of that task yeah so it looks like he's gonna he's gonna finish that with a pile in off it off the objective yeah it's so like it saves the movement he's just said fuck it yeah um morale and then he's phase. got morale their leadership eight 
so only on a six would they lose any models. Um, and then he can burn a reroll if he rolls the six. So instead of two, instead of a two CP strategy, I'm just a one. Yeah. So they didn't lose a terrible amount. They're they are still still they're still dangerous unit, but they could have been obviously more dangerous. It's just a roll reversal. I think he's still good. <clears throat> Falls back, interacts, gets the guts the backfield. Yeah. And it looks like to me a mortar is really close to that bunker wall in the back left. Right here. Um, and actually, what I really like, and it, I think his his key his clutch play this next turn is to bubble wrap basically the this guardsman unit with these grotesques and try to not kill them in combat. Fight with one grotesque, tie up the unit with this big fatty unit, and and then just be a nuisance because if if you can sit with those in that midboard now with this big unit of grotesques, tie it up and avoid the death watch shooting. You can be really dangerous. Yeah, and in, that's, in a, that's a place terms. grotesque is to be. They love to be safe in the middle. Yeah, because if you can start to slingshot this grotesque unit in, using the guard the, that guardsman unit in the middle as as your springboard and allow your characters to move up the board, because if he can stretch this grotesque unit in and around, charge the guardsman, tie the guardsman up, and then springboard some of his characters towards the death watch in the next couple in the next couple turns, that we can maybe we'll see some crazy tricks with the trip tech which the trip so, tech whip girl uh, moving up, not getting a charge off this turn, but if she she gets in there the next turn, she can start to go just to go ham. I want to also talk about that. That turn was actually kind of wacky because um, Gray didn't pull off all the points we thought he was going to pull off. <clears throat> nope, because he did not kill more. They killed the same, or no, they killed less. He killed, killed less. He killed no units. Uh, Juice killed one, so he picked up some points, yeah. and no, Juice actually, got, his, it was, just it was got his engineer points. Yeah, it's a and... complete role reversal that turn. He's only leading by three now, and the, the, I mean the gap is being closed. Mm -hmm. it's five to eight. So I guess the uh, command points spent to auto pass the Rangers and all the powers he spent on the, kept on the Rangers to keep them alive turned out not terrible. All right, I mean, so we keep going back and forth on the questioning of this plan, <clears throat> but. We'll see. I mean, he seems to have a plan. I think and... uh, I think the bikes leave. I think they tag those mortars because those mortars are definitely touching the bunker wall on the back. Yeah, I mean, he could definitely charge them. They would be able to fall back unless there might be a guard character up there. I can't quite see what's sitting on the objective. I think it's a guard character. There's a dude outside of the bunker for sure right here, ladies and gentlemen. So that, that would be the key. You would charge in, charge both them and the mortar teams. Swing everybody at the, the mortar, mortar team. The mortar team might be unattainable from this angle, so you're going to have to sweep it out wide because they are in the bunker and they're going to have to do the whole wall touch shit, right? Yeah, yeah, but it looks like it's within an inch of the wall, on, even on the near side with the characters. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> if, he can, if he can jet up to here get the charge he needs he can kill the character stay safe just like you said no no kill the mortars kill the mortars and then, stay safe. And then and grab the, the character. characters and stay safe <clears throat> wrapped again yeah, because you can't wrap the mortars yeah that's right because you can't get in the building to wrap the mortars you can wrap that character though um so i think that would be it moving up moving up on the world making plays plenty of time left on the chess clocks yep uh the Eldar did pull down their engineer points. They did kill more. Pretty good turn. Uh, and uh, all he has to do is get one good round of damage on that knight and get to get that Kingslayer. <clears throat> That's why people take it in this situation. Yeah, I mean, he's going to struggle with that for sure. He's going to... No, it's, it's, it, without the, yeah, it's definitely not easy with this, with this configuration. Um, because his best units to, to mess with this knight are the Spears. But they are now in a compromised situation where they've got to go do some other things. And I think to, to play the game, to play the mission. But at the same time, he uh, is going to struggle to kill that that knight. But I mean, the grotesques might be able to do it. You know, it does. He's, it's I, mean, he's, he's, I mean, it's going to be. Yep. We understood. He's also got a couple of smite capabilities. I mean, he could do some things. If he wants it to happen, it can happen. It's going to take some resources, some careful movement. He's got to pull off some rolls. Yeah. And we still have more in reserves, right? He still has another unit grotesque. They have to come in this turn. Yeah. So I would say they're probably going to drop in. Yeah, he's trying to bring, these, he's bringing the psychers up. He's advancing the psychers into position. 
they're going to have to come in with these in these nights. Like he might, the best play might be right to send these bikes north to the top right, the top left corner, as previously discussed. As they, previously they, discussed, they, they use right? Use a stratagem to get back in the fight. And then <clears throat> if he can drop the grotesques in between, right, straight in that line between the Helvrin and 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 the and the knight and the mortars, if there's just enough space to drop in there and cut you off from sending the knight back in to deal with 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 the bikes, right? If you if you can't do that, if the if if the they move sixteen by the way, not twelve, um, if, when he's measuring this, then if the if the if the grotesques drop in the middle there and cut off the knight from being able to walk over and just charge the bikes again, I don't know if there's enough space. If there's an, if there's eighteen inches, it's it's probably plus. not possible. Yeah, eighteen inch uh, denial and on a, a forty millimeter base might not be a thing. But it's I mean it's hard for us to tell from the top down, but. Yeah. It's pretty that, that would be that would be the ideal, but we'll see what happens. Um, it looks like he's making a decision with with these spears. With it, I mean, you have to leave, you can't you can't sit there, you no, got to no. pay the two. You either going to shoot something and then charge back in, or you're gonna, you know, you go nuts, you know. But I mean, you have to leave, you can't just sit there and be strength three. That's let's that's that's ridiculous, but <laughs> yeah. So, 16 inch move looks like he's trying to, to measure it out. He's got to have to drop grotesques in and uh, and figure out where they're going to go. So, like, if that's 16 inches, though, Kenny, if that's what he's measuring, right, then he might be able to drop the grotesques in there. Or if he's measuring 12 and he's just not measuring it right. Yeah, no, he's, 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 he's measuring 16. So okay. there might be there might be over twenty inches between that those that helper and the and those mortars, and then you could drop the grots right right smack in between. I liked what you were talking about earlier too about pre measuring. I do that a lot of times with my uh, with my deep striking. Is I just put them I put them there like kind of first. And people are like, "Oh, you deep striking now?" I was like, "No, they're not here." Like, what do you mean? I was like, "This is me pre measuring," and I just lay the models down exactly where I want them to be, and I just leave them there the whole time. I start moving around. You know what I mean? And they're like, you know, I'm just like, no, I'm just pre-measuring with 40 millimeter bases. And turns out I have five models that we're going to deep strike in this turn anyway with 40 millimeter bases. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to leave them right here. This is where I'm kind of planning to put them, but I'm going to leave them right here for posterity. I'm going to keep moving my stuff. And now they look down the deep strike. So the game does have pre-measuring. I remember that was very controversial when that, when that first arrived in our game. Many people were upset about it, but I do believe it makes a more perfect game takes out the do you remember this these days oh i'm gonna make that i'm gonna move six and make a six inch charge but you had to guess remember oh yeah and you remember that, that dude the charge. fights that would come up when you pulled out that six people were so much more sloppy with how far six inches was and and it's just it was so conscious because you didn't know and you had to commit to these things and people that's not more tactical <laughs> i'm sorry no let's not that's um, guessing let's let's not keep it twisted <laughs> that's not yeah. it's guessing <laughs> Guess working like for us. in our world right now we know how far things away are like in 41st millennium i'm certain they have all sorts of technology in their <laughs> yeah so it looks like he might be able to shoot this knight right doom it use his psychic powers and then and then shoot it with the bikes and then charge and do the charge fun stuff he's, we, we talked about in the top of the board um and then uh he's got to hope that these grotesques can make this charge yep so he didn't get a cp back this turn <clears throat> when rolling uh he did burn the cps like you said to act as normal um we're still deciding so yeah so that must mean he doesn't have an area up there he might just bring him in his backfield i don't like that position but if it's the only play you have you might have to do it uh, if he's gonna yeah, if he's gonna they're gonna be, they're, gonna be guys, they're gonna be way out of <laughs> position for the rest of the game right, if but they gonna don't own, make this charge but they they own that objective so that means like hey listen i got i got an objective in my pocket and if you could actually pull the kingslayer down oh he's oh he's gonna make an interesting bubble wrap here let's take a look at this so he's actually gonna do his best to to slink around see i like that a lot more that's cool he's got to measure make sure he's measuring this right yeah, yeah. pre-placing then he's gonna tidy then he's gonna shirt sure up with a tape measure that's how i do it <laughs> yeah, yeah. looks like he's got to back him up behind the behind this uh now this is Helbrin. sick so if he can actually get that king slayer then eventually get those extra kills then he knows he's got this objective this might be the best case scenario and if he can keep those bikes safe uh shaking baking across the backfield that could be everything 
for this. And you see he's only trailing by three now. He's coming back. See what the Death Watch does. Death Watch has got plenty more in their back pocket, though, too. Don't get it twisted. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, so he's got to he's got to push them out the board is is another idea. If with 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 the way the Grotusks Tusks just dropped in, I don't think Death Watch can land behind them. When the bikes make this charge, then the Death Watch can't get up to the top. No, he's actually so he's, fucking he's gonna, the Death Watch. He's going to squeeze the Death Watch in on the board, which yeah. is a really smart play to help control where the Death Watch can shoot the next turn. Because, like we talked about in the pregame, the Death Watch mess up these grotesque units pretty good. But if the Death Watch can't get guns on, and he's got a Ranger unit too, don't forget. If the Death Watch can't get guns onto these Death onto these grotesques, then even this knight, as we saw, didn't do that much damage. No, to them he killed the knight. Now he killed a grout and a half with a bad battle cannon roll. But hey, <clears throat> you know that's how the game works. See now this makes now he so he has Rangers in the top right still alive. I'm going to circle him with the app. <clears throat> this is what Sean was talking about. So we got guys here. AK, no Death Watch in this top corner. He's going to deep strike his other unit of rangers in. He's going to leave guys back here. Right? So there's, he's triangulating. He's got a guy here. Triangulating. Triangulating from all of these areas. He is I mean, triangulating from here. Literally, he is creating a zone where the, these Death Watch are going to have to go somewhere they don't want to go. They're going to go exactly at a place where the Eldar are comfortable with. And that is sick. Yeah. I mean, the only way that that breaks down, right, is actually if these grotesques do make the charge, then they can all come in and then in this bottom left corner. But then, in theory, the grotesques would be in combat. And that, then would see, be... I don't think he's going to try to roll that charge. Because you, that, oh, you pla don't that think placement he's try to make looks this exactly charge. like a 6th edition anti-outflank placement, son. I don't know. It'd be tough for me to not roll that charge. <laughs> <laughs> I think you. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, like, It'd be tough for me to to sit there with those grotesques and not roll that charge. <laughs> but you may be right. That may be the right play. Hey, I'm trying to go counter. I'm counterculture here, bro. Like everything he's doing, you're saying this is the wrong play, but he keeps creeping back into this game and surviving. <laughs> what Very works true. for Sean doesn't work for other humans very true for I us mean, mere mortals this 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 trap he's just set this net he's just placed i mean it looks beautiful um i've actually done this to a guy uh playing with my eldar where i covered the whole board and kept his eldar from being able to deep strike on the board yeah it's just it's a real thing 40k psychic phase this is gonna matter <clears throat> let's see what kind of powers he looks like he dragged back i think he's gonna is he gonna is he gonna take your advice and make the bikes harder to interact with or is he gonna just uh go dps on the night he can't go DPS tonight with those smites because those guards are closer. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he can't he can't smite or executioner the knight, so he can doom one of the knights, um, which he looks like he's doing now. Doom is going to be clutch. So if he's dooming, he's planning on charging. Plus one of the cast. Yeah, right? So yeah. yep. So doom goes off. He play, paid one to get to to get plus one to cast your council because those two characters are six inches apart. Oh yeah. And one of them's a warlock. Oh, one of them's a far here. Uh, he can do. This is anybody watching at home who doesn't familiar with this. If you're watching to get good, Jinx plus Doom is the highest DPS combination in the game. If your army is set up to capitalize on it, it is brutal. Yeah. So now the shooting from the, from the bikes is going to be clutch. They reroll ones to hit, as we talked about. Um, he didn't leave any of them in range to throw shoot their spears at it, but he's gonna he's gonna try to get these grots. So suddenly, when it's minus one to its save, and you're rerolling all wounds, grots can put wounds on it. Yep. Conceal on the bikes. He did conceal the bikes. Uh, uh, fails. Prote it's protect on the bikes. Uh, no, he can't do protect if he did jinx. So it's probably conceal. Uh, these is that a single cast individual right there? Oh, it's the yeah. Same power. A, a warlock. A warlock can't cast both jinx and protect. He can only pick one. So if it jinx the knight, then uh, it can't cost protect. Ten four. Best psychers in the galaxy. One, one power. One power. Fire Series got two. Fire Series a beast. Don't get it twisted. He's a beast. <laughs> that guy's annoying. Took me three turns to kill a Fire Series on bike the other day with fucking Ermon. Dude, they like, got six wounds. I was they ain't like, bad. get the shit out of here. <laughs> you know, I finally killed him. He's, uh, oh shit, I perilsed. 
And I was like, okay, Demon Strat. And he's like, cool, I'll get two of Final Pains or some shit against that. <laughs> Roll the <laughs> one. I was like, ah. Oh. Eat a dick, Farseer. There so, which bike? Uh, are the bikes going to shoot the knight, you think? I think they should, but we'll see. Uh, wait, I, boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. Dan is saying they are shooting, uh, but his uh, English language skills have failed him, and I don't know what they're shooting at. Company commander. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, that's my restructuring of those words. So he's just gonna plink away at the company commander. All right, all right. Going for the all. Go for all. He might. <laughs> he might have killed the company commander, but. How's company commander not have an M in it as its abbreviation? I mean, it should, but. He's I'm like it's army talk. Type drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sniper into the vets. Yes, sir. One mortal, three saves. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Probably taking the saves on the Terminator. Oh, yeah. That's how you start. That's turn, how you start. Turn three. Back breaking so, turn. Three oh. saves, one mortal. Mm. I love making those Death Watch fellows three episodes. So that kills the Terminator then, because then the mortal goes through and has to go attached to him as well. Yeah. So he fails the save, he fails the two up, yeah, and then Terminator the mortal dead. kills kills the Terminator. Yeah. Clutch. This is it. We'll see the big play here. I mean, it could be if, if everything happens the way it happens in his plans, this could be an amazing turn. But we haven't actually we've been seeing such high level play on this channel that these gates have been going to turn six. And we and we had a tie last week, Sean. Mm, I missed that one. A on, turn on six, the VK. a turn six clutch interrupt on the last fucking action of the game to tie it. Mm. Literally, this is it. We're fight face, fight, 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 fight. Gotta interrupt. This is the last thing I get to do. Fucking boom, interrupt, kill the character. Therefore, you didn't actually kill more units this turn. Therefore, twenty-seven to twenty-seven. Bottom turn six. Last actual die roll of the game. Woo! You don't That's see clutch. that every day. So we're going into the charging. Oh, I told you. You're doing you can't, it. You can't, you can't put those grotesques Well, you there can't without... put Jinx and Doom on this guy and not charge. So, like... No, nah, no. Nah, you can't do no nothing. I mean, you can. Because now that the, the Jinx and Doom lasts into Here your go. turn. Here's the big the, the big die roll with a re-roll. He's going to re-roll. Yes, He's that's command. the right move. That's the right move. No, Oof. fail. Fail. <clears throat> that's the right does roll. He get, he gets... Does he get Steve P back? Yeah, he gets Steve P back. So he gets to re-roll the whole dice rolls, ladies and gentlemen, if he wants for free. But if you got the four already in one of the numbers... It's kind of hard to say you're going to reroll the whole thing, you know? But I yeah. think I think I do. I think that if I need a 9 and one and one's a 4 and one's not and one's less than a 4, I'm like, "Yo, I need one of these to be a 5 to feel confident." So I think I usually pick up both dice. Cuz I used to play Mala Fiends a lot in 7th where they had the same rule, reroll any combination of their charge, and that was something I was very intimate with. <clears throat> and since basically anyone who rerolls now has that cuz of CPs, I, I feel confident in my statement. Yep. So it looks like these racks made a charge into the mortar teams. Um, I think the spears missed the charge because he killed that company commander. Did he fail uh, two big charges here? Or maybe they haven't charged yet. Okay, so I don't think the spears have gone yet. He's, he's about to do it now. He's gonna activate. Is he gonna? Is he gonna, is he gonna say everything? He's gonna roll an eight. And I bet if I know Juice, he said everything. What the hell is oh, there's this? a guy there. There's a Vindicare there. Oh, the Vindicari is right there. Oh my God, we're blind. Look at this. Well, I mean, he's he's in camo. <laughs> that. Yeah, see, I would have probably shot the Vindicare then. Are they then... are they wobbly modeler like a wobbly model surrounding him? <clears throat> no, I mean he's trying to do a, a very loose and happy. Only one spear is gonna fight this guy setup, and then he's probably gonna compile compile into him. Yep. It seems like but, they discussed it, but they just couldn't place the models because the wobble because they're on little flight stands and shit. Yeah, um, and that's fine. But I still, for the life of me, I don't. Yeah, I would have shot the Vindicare and and charged the company commander. I, I get, think he's. Get, I don't see him. I'm, I'm switched cams. Like, I mean, is he dead? Did he, I think he shot him already. Oh, he shot him and killed him. That's what I'm saying. I would I would have done it in reverse, uh, at all possible because. 
then I could kill the mortars with the bikes and just tie it up. But he did send an infantry unit. From... He did. He did send an infantry unit into that terrain piece, so maybe they'll be able to. Yeah, but they're not really gonna kill the mortars. The the spears would just kill them. They'd be dead. Um, I mean, there everything is a viable plan until it's not viable. So so far, he must have had to order operations. I just would want to get further away from the knight and make that knight have to either choose to run back up uh, to the top of the no, board. Knowing knowing the person piloting this army, he in his mind 100% was, I'm going to make that charge of the grotesques. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The knight can still leave the grotesques. He, oh, he, was, gonna, he was like, I'm going to roll 12, wrap this dude up. No big deal. They're not infantry. Oh, up. they're infantry. That's right. They're, they're infantry. Not. No wrapping. Little known fact, <clears throat> knights uh, can walk over infantry when they fall back. I get people with that all the time. I always forget but, that these big dudes are not inf are actually infantry. Just like obl swole obliterators are still infantry. Mm-hmm. Guy, you want to talk about how unplayable the new swole obliterators would be on top of the new point increase if they were not infantry anymore? It'd be bad. <laughs> I'm already struggling with their point cost. <laughs> I mean, I think this play, go on a tangent. I think the only play right now, honestly, if you want to run three obl swole obliterators, is Nurgle with a tree. I think we're back to that. Because you're just mm -hmm. saying I'm not gonna endless cacophony, I just have eighteen shots and I have plus two to my cover. I can see that. As a viable option. Yeah. And then you just then you can put Mesme on them if you want. Like But I also I also think endless cacophony if you're just gonna play one unit of three, it's expensive, but they will just nuke things. Yeah, but they unless they roll a one twice, which is that's the problem. My big issue with them being a guy who played obliterators for a year, over a year is that there's going to be a moment every tournament where they just roll a one followed by a two and for their D3 damage. Mm, and, then very true. and then you're like, for 195, that was fine. <laughs> it's very true. Here we go. Spears made the charge. They did the slap they damage. Some, they did the they slap, did slap damage, damage. And now they're, they're covering them. They're going to wobbly it. Yeah. And then they have enough room to place, but they mm -hmm. just, you know, terrain. I wish we went back to felt, but it is really pretty seeing three dimensional terrain on camera. Yeah, it's great. I do like the two obliterators of Endless Cacophony. <clears throat> but, damn. Oh, it looks like, he, uh, looks like the old um, Rax killed a mortar. And uh, I think they're doing their best to wrap that up. Mm -hmm. We'll find out if he did it. Would have been, been nice to see the damage output on on this, this night if the Grotesque had made that charge. I think they would have done quite a bit of a number to it. They'd have to roll a pretty big number because they're over they're nine, uh, just so they can get all their fucking attacks <clears throat> from this. But if they did, what is it like fifty attacks? Is it fifty strength six minus one attacks plus uh, one two? Is it ten and then plus ten mortal wound attacks? Is that how that works? No, it, it would just be the the negative one attacks. You just do uh, the 50, 50. Well, you could, you can do it six. the other way around if you, if you use the mortal wound ones, which doesn't work against vehicles. So it would have been uh, a thing here. So you can do four, and then you do have to do one of the... And with the, Jinx and Doom, it's basically negative two. Uh, yep. He'd be wounding on fives or re-rolls. He would have he, he definitely not, uh, picked up two Kingslayer points. We you got to remember, he hits on twos now. Yeah, it's turn the, three. hit on turn two. Uh, he would've, I think he would have ground through a couple Kingslayers right there. Yeah, for sure. It would have been nice. It would have been, nice. it been we a are, We are moving forward. Uh, Eldar have concluded their turn. They've done what they can. They failed a really crucial <clears throat> grotesque charge. Uh, therefore, the Doom and Jinx uh, didn't get to be utilized in the Eldar turn. But this knight does have to think about if he wants to get into a fight now. Like, he is basically, like, I got to worry about that. But he can actually engage those grots on the edge. And I think he's going to do it. And he's going to, and so that way he only has to fight like three grots. Yeah, and the combat in the middle was a slap fest as well. He probably fought with one grotesque, kills a couple guardsmen, piles in, wraps them. Yeah, he's got an easy he's got an easy wrap here with the little guys inside. So he is gonna use the shake and bake tech <clears throat> to keep these grots in the center. This is a lot of high-level play. This is gonna be a lot of um big point grabs past turn three. Turn three don't mean turn three didn't mean shit for the Eldar, and the Eldar did a lot to make it not mean shit for the Death Watch with this placement and this anti deke striking. He basically, I think that my man Gray, the objective two backfield is one of his only placements. Yeah, he, I think he's he's got play all up in that middle objective two. He's got yeah, he's inward, gonna, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna to, have to be back two to here. five inward, and and he's stuck up in there. 
there's probably no play. And see, this is what we're talking about, that he's got to back up with his knight. He doesn't want to get charged by both grotesques units next turn. Yep. So he's got to run away. Um, he, he, like you said, he he'll can hit the charge bike. the, the he'll hit the, bike. He'll hit the bikes again. That's, that's, the, that's the obvious play. Yeah, probably finish off the bikes is a good is a good play. But, I mean, do you really want to leave that whole big grotesque unit totally unoccupied? Uh, untouched? I mean, good, good point. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, he's got to make, he's been forced to make decisions. So a good 40k player, whether or not he realizes he's doing it or not, is basically not making the decision for his opponent. Right? So with the tools available to this Eldar force, he now has to choose. And in, in the Eldar player's mind, he knows what he would rather his opponent do, and he didn't make that the only option. He gave him three options here. Go out to Grotz in the, Grotz in the middle. Step away from the Grotz on the left corner. Go toward the Shining Spears. Avoid one Grot, but get hit by the other. So he's moved it toward the center. Looks like he's going to play in the middle. I don't know if that's what the Eldar wanted, but it's what was decided. Yep, it looks like there might have been just enough space to place some veterans here in the middle. Because they do actually, they can string out. This actually, whew, this is high level, because they're only like actually, uh, they're actually, most of them are under a one inch base. Yep, so he didn't have anything. So we're talking an exactly nine from these bikes. We're going to measure right now. And then we have to measure, and he knows if they occupy the same area as the knight once did. He then they're already nine. nine from the grotesques. Yeah. So damn, I did not see that coming. Did you? No, I thought there would be enough of the shining spears strung into there to to make that nine. They're gonna happen. have to get really accurate with their measuring here, and I know uh, this is one of those situations. It's a very serious play, and you're gonna have to be proactive, and you're gonna have to almost uh, lean over and double check your opponent. Not that saying that you know my man Gray's he's stand up dude. He's one of the best dudes I've ever fucking met. But that's just a you know piece of pro advice. I wouldn't let my opponent just start placing this detailed of a fucking placement uh with just intent yeah because they're definitely within nine right now that that second unit he just put down so they're gonna have to measure that the uh, spears it's too but i think they close. do get to snake them back they're gonna be able to snake them i think i think it's possible but like this is not one of those like you know where they are like no you put them where they need to go <laughs> And they're going to have to take it with a grain of salt because the bikes themselves are indeed wobbly themselves. So that's also where you're going to have to just be like, okay, we, we don't actually know where they are. So we're just going to have to, we'll do like a half inch variance here. Yeah. And I wonder if he had needed to send a character or somebody to run in there and block that up. But he might not, yeah, I don't think he had anybody really so in range. Two vet squats in the pocket. Bad, 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 bad. bad, bad. bad. Now those. Now those grots, are dealt with. We, now they wish they made that charge. <laughs> I did not see that coming. That hit me totally out of left field, bro. No, that was a good play. I, that was from a our top, clever from play. Top, from our top-down view, I, I, I thought they didn't have the space, but I guess it makes total sense that when the knight was blocking out most of his things, um, then that they were a space occupied for the reverse deep strike. Now, I guess the, the Negative, spears needed... Oh, oh we got to come I guess the term. spears... I just get this, the spears needed needed to stay closer to the night. And so, I do, so do we call further. it a negative space deep strike? Yeah, negative space deep strike. I like it. And that night has a lot of negative space. Yeah. Fuck. That is a that 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 caught me off guard. I thought they, I thought they were protected, but this is bad. Those vets have the exact type of bullets to interact with those uh, grots in a way the grots don't want to deal with, and the grots charging them. Um, is also a different world because they have such a weird eclectic variety of damage and wounds in their squads and the ability to back out of combat with this one special guy. And since they're all bunched up like that, after he does his damage profile, it's really going to be hard to stop him from falling back. Mm. They're going to be there. They're, that's a hard unit to interact with. They got the, the right kind of dudes with the multiple wounds, the right kind of storm shield saves. This is going to be bad. So that's good. That's a. Uh... Yeah, that's a game changer. Now you have a total overwhelming sense for the for the death watch player with these <coughs> with this knight this helverin and those death watch in that corner how many of those threats can the eldar player deal with reasonably mm -hmm. um, it's gonna happen so, right now he's, he's got him you see him he's loading up his dice in his hand he's counting them up this is the where he wants to start this is what he's most excited about because mm -hmm. now he <coughs> what you're gonna do is your option select right so that the, the veterans are gonna shoot these grots first and then the knight has a choice it, then the knight can shoot him um, and, and really start to make, make things happen. 
He's got the special bullets. I think, does he have the Watchmaster there? I think I saw some rerolls. No, he rerolls ones because he picked elites as his as his target, I believe. And wounds on twos. Look, that's more wounds than a Grot wants to take. Mm -mm. That's the first volley, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if I can actually get on camera here. I think we actually can pick it up right here. Oh, yeah. Oof. 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 <laughs> Oof. Yes. Oof. Oof. All right, first round, four ups. Stonewall Jackson. So far, that's pretty average. Pretty good, pretty good. And now he's going to follow up sixes. Every four equals a dead grot. Every Kenny, <clears throat> my, if my boots on the ground is saying 27 wounds done by the unit of Death Watch to that, start. So. That should equal three dead grots, uh, I believe. All right, so the second roll was worse for Juice. He only failed six on that first but one. But he Ooh. picked up three sixes, so math is coming through. So three, four, five, 11 total wounds. That's two and a half grots. So 10 total, maybe. Yep. Yep, that's, two and a half. that's not, that's not bad. If that that's was the big a, unit, if start. that was the big unit of death watch, then that's not bad. If that was a small unit of death watch, juice is in trouble. <laughs> is that, he rolls two ones on something. Tell me that was the battle cannon. Yeah. Tell me maybe. that was the battle cannon. <laughs> Please don't take <laughs> He rolled two dice and rolled a three on some shit. I'm like, what? Is going on here, or is he throwing grenades or some shit? Or it's the Helvern shooting. Oh, Helvern, that's the right kind of firepower. Fails one, reroll it. He re oh, he failed to reroll. I knew he was gonna reroll that shit. Oh, it's the biker bolter. That was biker cool. bolter. All right, all right. Okay, so twenty-seven was about thirteen fails. Was it? Yeah. Uh, one second, let me jump in over here. Make sure everything's going off right. To you, Sean. Hmm. Yeah, this will be a tough turn for Juice. See how many Grazi loses in this this firing spree from the Death Watch. I really like that move by Gray, the negative space deep strike. That was really solid i think he's got a good position to take control of the board and then the counter attack will have to be will have to be huge um if his grotesque in the middle of the board that are stuck in combat can't deal with the knight effectively juice is going to be in trouble yeah it looks like we had some heavy bolters the missile launcher juice pulled off the save eldar doing strong things three bolters 12 shots we're doing we're doing attacks here yeah, well, what I think we're going to see is a... Mm, that's a good roll. Oof. Oof. Bar up saves, bro. It's a real thing. And pulled out a clutch six. <clears throat> Lost one grad at least, right? Or do you already pick that? He already picked that one up. See, that's the that's the issue people forget about four ups is that, like, they're streaky, right? Like, in a perfect world, you, you know, you roll eight, you fell half. But that's not... A, but it's not how it works. It's like over the course of the game, you should fail about half. And if at this moment is the moment you roll above half, because later you roll below, then that, that's that's the luck. That's the that's the clutch. So I, I would. Uh, I, <laughs> oh, is this another Helvin? What was it for? Shot? Has has both Death Watch squads already fired? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. He's saving one, right? He's he's trying to do everything else in the world right now. Every possible shot in the world right now. All the bullets. Much bullets. And usually the the danger zone for Death Watch against Eldar is when those psychic powers, those smites can start hitting their units. But what he has a great thing here going on is that he has both these knights in between Juice's psychers and his Death Watch, which is going to really help protect them from, from that ability, from those mortal wounds, from those psychic powers. Yes, sir. That last round of volleys was actually the Watchmaster. So I almost wonder if Juice's psychers are going to have to retreat up the board to deal with that exposed Death Watch unit at the top right of the board so that they can really bring their mortals to bay and maybe reestablish uh, dominance for the Eldar on the, that north side of the board and then just leave the grotesques and the other characters to... To, to maybe go, go nuts on this bottom because 
he's uh, he's gonna have to doom the night again for oh, sure 100 percent. he's gonna have to jinx the night but his smites his executioners are he's gonna want those to hit death watch not not hit uh i think the helvern is, is, is picking on grotesques right now mm -hmm. and i think he's dividing his shots in a battle cannon i think too I think he's gonna kill that like the one model uh, squad left. So he's gonna try to kill that one survivor. He think he did. Yeah, so that's a kill. Um, <clears throat> oh, triple. Uh, I don't know what that roll. Oh, that's feel no pain. So he lost another grotesque. We are shooting the other Helvern, It looks like or something. Or oh, stubborn. I believe. Takes a wound. Was that half the stuff half the squad removed? Yeah. And Juice only has how many CP left? Probably like six or seven. So that's second vet squad activating. Here we go. Juice has three. Eldar has oof. three. That's that's danger zone. Because you're going to want to to make sure that these grotesques in the middle of the board can leave combat and act normally, or the bikes one or the other. So that's two, and then you only have one CP left. So you can only use one more reroll. Are these bullets happening at the top uh, into the Rangers? There's 24 stormbolt shots right here. Yeah, this these cleared out the Rangers. Yeah, those might be the two stragglers. Nope, this is He's most going to of the, the new squad. big unit. He's going to try to pick up another big threat. These are all going to matter for killing, killing more, things like that. Ooh, a lot more ones that I like, but ones on twos. Minus one to hit, re-rolling ones and twos. Watchmaster in play. Only kills three more. Hmm. Or is he not rerolling one of the twos? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where his Watchmaster is. I think he might be too far back. Yeah, that Watchmaster ain't doing shit. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's all the way in the top corner of the board. Uh, yep, I see him up there. All the way up here. Oh, he's in the big group. Oh, he's in the business center? Oh, that's perfect. That big giant death ball. Kill, correct me if I'm wrong, boots on the ground, Dan. Have both the big, have all the veteran squads fired? Or are we still waiting on one? Oh. Oh, that's a smash captain back there. No wonder they didn't want to go back there. That's why the bikes didn't want to go there. That explains a lot. <laughs> There's a smash captain in play still. <laughs> Ooh, triple sixes. Stonewalling with some rolls here. All vets fired. Damn, I expected more grotesque to go down to that firepower. <clears throat> you only picked up five. I mean, I, I mean, six was high end of the math. So, <clears throat> but it did take other shots. So, like, I think it was uh, didn't convert the way he wanted to mathematically. He only killed five with other assistance. Yeah, and he's gonna have to probably. Actually, I'd take that back. He might not be able to save his two for fall back and charge. He might have to save, use his two to keep these grotesques from fleeing. Because if you get, if you still have five left, I mean, I don't want to lose any more than that. You've got to, you got to. What's their, what's their, their leadership? Oh, it's terrible. I believe. Eh, it might be like six or seven. Oh yeah, that's bad. <laughs> this is not the fearless turn, right? It's next turn. <clears throat> yeah, it's not. They're not fearless. So Rangers are getting complete, completely demolished. He's picking up units in the top right. Um, he's going to lose this presence up here, and he's giving up kills. This will be, I think, a uh, pretty solid turn as uh, yeah, they're Deathwatch. Losing eight. So they're losing. So they lost they five. five. So they're losing. They lose, uh, so the three. They need to roll a three not to lose anybody? Yeah, so they're 50-50 they're, they're losing. 
But I, I would just, I mean, you can't lose that. I think you got to keep the five. It's time to go to work is what we're here reporting from the table right now. Got to make all these saves. Missile pod oh. going into the engineer unit. So that is the engineer unit in the top right, I assume. No, bottom right. Bottom On that right. objective. Oh, yep. So missile pod is going to try to take him out. And this is this is the Gatling gun right here. Oh, this is Gatling oh, gun. With, oh, that's right. Grotz. Into the Grotz. So I forgot this dude hasn't even shot. He's got some exploding shots. Here we go. Converted a few more. He's only one on sixes, however, but they are a, a lot of. If, if he doesn't, they weren't. They weren't on threes. I mean, right? four, I mean four. Sorry, I think it's only straight nah. six. Yeah, but the Grots are only T five when they're not a. Oh, they're around. not by uh, my man. Uh, yep. That's right. Uh, Eldar continues to make slightly more than half <clears throat> four ups because yeah, uh, yeah. There's no Oh, picks up two. So he loses another grotesque. That's not a place he wants to be. He's gonna have to auto pass morale because now he's on a loses a gro loses a grotesque for every number over two he rolls. Two. Yep. Can't have that. But nah, nah. He can't roll, we can't roll that fucking goddamn six by accident. <laughs> so this nine battle cannon shots or oh 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 <clears throat> continues to pour it on. <clears throat> These ones also wound on threes. And these are D3 damage. There we go. So this is where he needs to make some clutch ass fours right now. He does. Mm. He does. He picks up that Three. other. I think he had I think he had a wound in the squad still, so I think this is gonna be important. Yeah, so this picks up another grotesque. Yep. <clears throat> so now we're on a every number you roll over one, you lose a grotesque situation. I believe, unless unless I was wrong about my math there. No, I think there was a hurt. Oh, there was no hurt grotesque. Oh, okay, so I, I, thought, I thought there was rollover. My bad. Heavy stubber. stubber. Gotta roll those fives. Nope. This Death Watch army is a tricky army to play against. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. When when you're an army that's relying on toughness and you're not a vehicle. Like Magnus Mortarian don't want to play Death Lodge. No, and like people who are like, I'm tough in the six with all this cool shit. Nah. <laughs> and then the infusion of a knight, a couple of Helverns, and a and a Smash Captain definitely really makes it tricky. For sure. One rack dead from the missile pod over there. <clears throat> oh, Smash Captain makes the charge into the into the racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll do some work. It'll do some work. And, uh, and now everything into the center. He's gonna. Yep, he's gonna start charging with these Death Watch. He rolled an eleven to make that charge. By the way, it's great, man. You don't know. You never know what this man's gonna do. All right, so yeah, so the the Death Watch are closing the net right now. They are pushing the Eldar into the center of the board. They are locking up their options. Let's see if, if Gray can just make more charges than Juice has made all game. So, a big charge from these Death Watch into the Grotesques could be a tough one. It's a tricky. It's a tricky fight, man. Like it's uh, the I mean, like just the addition. I mean, those two Helverns in that night. Hmm. So it looks like the Death Watch made a straight up charge into that Spirit Seer who was exposed. Yeah, that's bad. That's a tough. So we might see some heroics back from from the other characters there, which could be some cool stuff. Yeah, but is that a court of the young uh, king? What is that? I mean, that looks to me like <laughs> it might be his uh, his succubus. So we, we could see there some cool goes. play so from the succubus. Invention. There we go. That'll be a uh, that'll be something pretty awesome. Sling last yeah. and heroic with the succubus. Hmm. <clears throat> is that the vexator mask over there? Uh, I'm assuming if the Death Watch are swinging last, then that means the the Vexator was close enough, six inches from that unit. Yep. Ooh, oh. my man. Did you just pick up? What was that? I don't know. I just saw fist pumping. I saw a five, six, five on the table. Is this a uh, Overwatch or some type? What is, or is it tax? Oh, fight again. Spend three to fight again. No, I can't. What is this? They got to kill something just to fight again. Yeah, I'm curious. 
So if this is her fighting, right, all the sixes and fives are going to be three hits each. Oh, that's right. She has that relic where, th- uh, <clears throat> where she can she can uh, explode into like she's hitting on twos. It's plus one, and fives and sixes are new hits, right? Yeah, or so, triple hits. Triple hits. So that's actually the play here because they're on the turn of plus one hit, and it typically is on a six. Now it's on a five or six. She just exploded. She, so she wounds on fours, and it's negative two. That's what it one, is. That's what one damage doing. each. So that's incredible. That's why you take it like this. That is a spicy little rule right here. Oh, my man picks up the prolific force. <laughs> that's a so bad. ten wounds. That's 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 one character who has four base attacks doing ten wounds. And he rolled all fives <laughs> and sixes. <laughs> yeah, the Star Wars. So there's some steam storm shields right here, huh? Yeah. So that squad has a Terminator still. Let's see if he goes Terminator or Storm Shield first. Storm Shield dead. <clears throat> storm Shield. Storm Shield. Time to Storm. Time to Storm. That's... Yeah, there he goes. He's being smart. Dead. Storm Shield dead. Okay. Storm Shield. Storm Shield dead. dead. Ooh. Oh, oh, this chick is going ham. <laughs> Terminator. Go to the Terminator. Go to the Terminator. Terminator. It lives. Takes one wound. Takes a wound. Keep going. Is it a two damage attack? No, it's one damage. Three, four, five. Oh, that Terminator already Oh, yeah, yeah, the Terminator already was wounded. Yep, very true. So three more saves. Ooh. Somebody's alive. It's dead. Two more. Ooh. Somebody's dead. Oh, it's oh, bike. On the bike. He's doing the bike. Oh, bike's still alive. Bike's still alive. Bike dead. Ooh. Neg two. Oh, Woo, it's neg two. man. Yo, that chick just went ham. That berserk. was awesome. Berserk. She just went berserk. I oh. love that. That's why I love that character. Yeah, that is the succubus with the triptych whip and the strife warlord trait blood dancer. So she has five base attacks because you take the plus one attack drug. So she has five attacks plus three more for the triptych whip. So now she's at eight. It's turn three, so she on fives. Because it's plus one to hit. It was plus one to hit for Dark Eldar, so turn three. On fives, it's three hits each. So she has eight attacks. And any of any of those fives, and she, she hits on twos, re-rolls ones, and then any fives are three hits, not three extra attacks. They're three hits. So <laughs> She is a brutally cool character that I absolutely love and try to put into it. She is 54 points Cutting with a relic right and a warlord trait. We're fighting the Vinicari with uh, spears right now. Uh, <clears throat> damn. All right. Vinicari. Yep. 54 points. She is a... and the So what, what, what we're doing here, too, as we talked about in the beginning of the game is the Archon is the Warlord. We also have Homunculuses and the Succubus. So we took the Warlord, we took the Architects of Pain, no, the Alliance of Agony strat, which lets you give a Warlord trait to a Succubus and a Homunculus, even though the Warlord is your Archon. So you, you have these extra Warlord traits that you can take advantage of and give yourself extra abilities. Smash and Captain, I believe, is activating. <clears throat> so that, that, that Strife Succubus is like a... A, a cool thing. It, you don't see it that often because in a pure witch list, Cursed Blade is by far and above the best witch cult to take. The, but when you're taking this mixed battalion that we have stuck at the bottom with the Blackheart and the, the Warriors, but you want a second cheap HQ, this Stripe Succubus is something amazing to slot in there at 54 points. She's toughness three. She's a four up involve, five saves, and uh, six up female pain. So <laughs> the grots are exploding. Is that the uh, mortal wound? <clears throat> yeah, they picked up those guardsmen. They're going to pick them up all day, every day, though. Yeah, so I guess the point. knight either failed the charge or didn't charge the, the grotesques. Guards are pink mist, is what has been reported to me. Pink <clears throat> mist. Awesome. <laughs> so Vindicari has gone. Mortars are getting whittled down. But uh, I mean, that, <clears throat> that girl takes a relic, and you need to somehow so, either make her warlord or use the really cool ability to make for Dark Eldar three people have Warlord traits. Oh, so I'm curious. Why didn't the knight charge? <clears throat> was that a mistake? A misplay? 
She might have failed. We don't know. I mean, Gray's made a ton of charges throughout the game. Maybe maybe they just failed this one. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's a misplay. I'm, I'm hearing from Boots on the ground right now. Uh, Knight was doomed. He was afraid to go in. Yeah, I makes gone, sense. I would have gone in. I would have gone in, though. I want to hit him on that little corner. I mean, like, fine, I'm doomed against two and a half guys, maybe three. <laughs> hmm. That's a good point. I mean, it is Kingslayer points. You're trying to worry about giving him up, but you were going to give him up. I mean, up. he feels confident, so, but he didn't He didn't see, he, I mean, he basically lost the whole Death Watch squad. Yeah. I don't think he saw that succubus happening, and she went ham. That I love exciting moments like that in 40k, when a, when a character can just do cool things. Because in past editions, characters really couldn't. They had like a couple attacks. They never had this ability. Well, what was cool? What's uh, cool about it is there is a couple of fail rates attached to it. A couple conditions to make it really work. It's got to be late game. To make it work, you have to roll a certain number, and <clears throat> so it's not like an all day every day thing. There is a certain degree. He just stonewalled. There's a certain degree of cool things that need to happen, and I love that. So the slam cab sucked it up and didn't do his thing. He stonewalled yeah. those uh, rack saves is what happened right there. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, the average number of hits that Succubus is going to get is something like a round of 12. That's her average number. That's how crazy that is on turn turn three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> that's where it's like, it's like a you have it in your back pocket, turn three, get good. So I think we're, we're advancing the turns now. I think we're moving to turn four. Let's get a scorecard. I am lost on the score. I don't know who killed more. I can I can tell that. I think uh, Juice killed more that turn. I, I'm kind of thinking he. I'm leaning toward a whole uh, hold. I think Juice has one CP left because I'm assuming he's pay, paid to keep those grots alive. Yeah, he. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm assuming too. So I'm looking at like looks like Gray has two, maybe just one. It's hard to tell what's happening to the top left, but he does have. He, I mean, but <clears throat> he may have two units, maybe three. So he may hold more. Uh, Eldar may have killed more. It's hard to tell. I don't know about the secondaries. So butcher build definitely happened. It looks like tied objectives, right? Because I don't think Gray has anybody on that circle on number two. Oh, nobody's actually touching the circle. Yeah, you remember it's not three inches from the circle. It's, right, right. it's on the circle. It's yeah, so, correct. So Gray has five and one. Juice had four and three. So that looks like it's a tie. Um, so it's 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 on now. And now these grots are going to definitely either charge this night or charge past the night. I don't. It, what a I don't even know. This could be a swing turn. We're waiting from the boots on the ground division of this production to inform us of these final scores as we move into the late the championship turns. Mm hmm So yeah, so I would I would probably send this Farseer back, execute these two guys that are that are next to his spirits here, just kill them execution. with, with psychic power. Literally with execution. kills two guys all day every day. All day every day. They're both dead. Um, you can still doom the night or, or doom the death watch from that range, probably, and still do that. And then your succubus can go walk right past these death watch, go charge those guardsmen, and go on a blender spree up up in the middle of the board. Clear Ooh. clear that clear clear that objective five. Ooh. She uh, moves eight. Eldar had a good like, turn, she's but she's fast. But Gray clutched it. He maxed out <clears throat> some. She rerolls charges. She, she's going to get up there. Um, you know and. That would be my play on that one. So um, I forgot didn't... they modified gangbusters now, right? So now it works on grotesque and stuff, right? I believe so. so That's he why had... he would have picked it. There was no other reason to pick it. Gangbusters, because so. I mean that was like a literally a stupid one before. They dropped it and they brought it back, and now it's like now it works on units like uh, grotesque and nerglings now, right? Mm -hmm. So he just maxed gangbusters and got more uh, uh, <clears throat> butcher's belt. Um, Death Watch, while that was an amazing turn for the Eldar, the Death Watch clutched that turn with four t by picking up a shitload of secondaries. Yeah, the, the mixed battalion of, of, of Dark Eldar, uh, they GW changed the Vex strat to you need models on the board that are alive, but uh, they believe removed the need for a whole de detachment to be Cabal the Blackheart. So as long as the Dark Elder Warriors and the, the Archon, more importantly, because he's harder to kill, are alive, then you can continue to Vect. So that's how that changed. So that's how that detachment works. You've got a Vect Archon. You've got that sick succubus. We got to come up with a name for her because I love her. And I've been like sitting on her for a while because I actually play with pure witches and I haven't been able to use her because she's from the other cult. She's from the second best cult, but there's a huge gulf between the first best cult and the second best cult. So, um, so she's a succubus, huh? So she's a uh, 
Uh, what is she like? She's a. Is there any other like term for them? Like witch, um, blender witch, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> some something like that. And she's got a whip. So we La- can go with that La- lawnmower, that direction. Lawnmower. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna call. Her, I'm gonna call her a lawnmower until further reference. Until further. Until further reference. So uh, looks like uh, plus one. To cast. To cast. Uh, got it back. <clears throat> Doom does not go off. That's Even with good. the reroll. Mm. Mm. That's uh, that makes this. That makes this. No jinx. Ooh, no jinx. This makes this an unsurmount. This makes this a lot trickier. Smite does only kills one guy with smite. Ugh. What about executioner? He was hoping to do it with smite. Is what was happening there. Why? I would have just done it with executioner. So, so then he could do executioner in the night, maybe. No, you do smite on the night. I mean, there's there's oh, no reason. He doesn't to... do anything because it kills a model. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was just placement. <clears throat> No, right. maybe it's just execution. It was, doesn't pop off unless you kill the model. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Vets Guard was a mark for death unit, uh, but still, if you do execution at first, but thing is, I don't know why that dude was closer to them for smite than the knight. But I mean, that spirit here was. No, I, I know. I mean, like I'm, I'm wondering through movement if it could have been done the other because I mean, executioner is basically automatic. But maybe he got nervous. Like I need this to happen. I need yeah. both. <clears throat> He's pop, putting pop shops into the marked Helvrin. He did a mortal wound. Coming from the Rangers from downtown. Yeah, so without Doom, I would actually probably charge these Grots into the, the Death Watch, right? Yeah, I would sneak around that fucking... But the night it can heroically intervene. Don't get it twisted. Yes. That is that a is problem. True. That is an issue, sir. That's a small issue. <laughs> <laughs> now the Spears... Almost forgotten are doing the backfield removal right now. Yeah, and but they're gonna get picked. They're gonna get picked up by that smash captain. That smash captain's still in a fight. Uh, but oh yeah, as long as if, if one rack can live, this next this next phase from the smash captain. But I think the watch. I know the watch master's not up there. So yeah, no, they, they yeah. If you can keep a rack alive, this could. If be. you can keep a rack alive against that that smash captain, then then he can do the Lord's work. But if not, he's gonna be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. But this game has been incredibly swinging, like amazingly cool I think and we're, exciting. We're already, into the, I think we're already approaching close combat. Oh yeah, we are. <clears throat> That's what I hear. These turns are fast, sir. Six. That that works. He's gonna wrap that character. I wonder if he's gonna do the old slap fight again. We'll see. I mean, he should. Goddamn character knights and the heroic interventions. Super upsetting. <laughs> Super upsetting. Yeah, no doom, no company commander surrounded, confirmed. <clears throat> no doom, no jinx. <laughs> this night is uh is hard for the grotesque to grotesque basically can't interact with. Barely can interact with it. But I mean, they might pick up some some he- uh, some Kingslayer points. You know what I mean? Yeah. All you gotta do is chip chip four, right? Four chip wounds. four point four wounds. That's a point. Yep. That's that's value. That's value. No, no, for sure. I mean, th- I don't think the plan changes because you fail the second powers. No. But it's not good. Knight is not o- good. Knight is overwatching right now. Let's see how much damage he does. And it's not like you can you can't tie it up, which is the problem. So very tricky to do. You need a certain type of unit to do it. Yeah, you can't tie it up with what, the, what I'm saying with what juice has oh yeah correct there we go i can see the anticipation i can see the tingliness the electricity on the battlefield right now uh grats take two wounds coming in but most importantly that means they have not lost any dps heavy stubber still to go <clears throat> nothing Keep it alive. This is where th- there's a lot going on. If you guys are watching at home, so this is important. Uh, no Click that j- timer back, fool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He says, "Fuck up the timer." Great. Fuck. Don't let that man run your time while he's moving his units. That's right. <laughs> Boots on the ground confirmed. So this is big. Uh, no doom, no jinx. So this isn't going to be as um, catastrophic as it could be. This is going to be a little bit hard 
relying on some rolls. He's going to bring these guys in, I think, to the Death Watch. Um, they can actually do some damage. Um, <clears throat> but we also have uh, bikes in the top, wrapping up a company commander. There is a smash captain engaging with uh, Rax over here. If we can stonewall that, that's huge. Otherwise, he's going to be able to come back instantly to those shiny spears. That's a problem. Uh, we did remove a whole unit of Death Watch here in a heroic lawnmower attack. That mm. was amazing. The best 54 points in the galaxy. <clears throat> so this is a back and forth. Even though it's swingy, Gray has maintained his lead for four turns. Yeah, and I, I don't know that, that Juice's turn here will be big enough to create the momentum he needs to to push for for, for total to victory. the championship turn. Uh, we're in championship turns now. Like this is because he also he also doesn't have enough time left. I don't I don't know to to really to really push an advantage. But Gray's time is really clicking down too. Yeah, they're both. The, 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 turn three was where they used all their time. That a fast turn one, turn two, but the close combat intricacies slowed them down, bogged them down on turn three. I have fought <clears throat> pro, um, prophets of flesh armies where we got into combats on the first turn of the game, Sean. And mm -hmm. we spent like, you know, 40 minutes on turn one because we yeah. are doing every combat, every intricacy. But then once we broke loose, like we were, we were like down to 12 minutes going into turn three, but then it was just like literally four minute turns from there on out. They kind of did it in a reverse. Like they went four minute turn ones and shit like that, but they are burning their mm. time right now. Click for that overwatch juice. Click for that overwatch. Click it. Click that clock. There it is. Uh, orc pride. I hope I'm not too brutal. Unless you like it, then I'll be more brutal. <laughs> Time is a resource. <clears throat> Time is a resource. Time is money. But uh, I really like the swing in this game. The back uh, and forth. Right there's the been some really. There's some. There's, there's been clever play on both sides. Win or, win, or lo, win or lose, it's a. It's, it's been a clever. Uh, it's been a per, the perfect kind of battle report to talk about because there is a lot of high level stuff and a lot of gotcha bitch moments. This is we put these out. Uh, I mean, honestly, so people can learn. Like our entire platform is based on education, in a hobby we all love. You know, we have tutorials, unboxings, what's happening next, tactics, and this is an extension of those tactics. And this has been a perfect game for that. You know, even if even if the lead never changes and the Dark Eldar and the Eldar lose, I mean, I can't think of a better game to add more fucking moments of learn from that you can learn from. <clears throat> mm. Cleaver attacks Great. coming to clutch. They need fives and sixes. It's a big clutch right there. He did uh, burn his CPs to get the reroll wound strat. That's a big deal. People don't remember sometimes that the Grats can do. So even in a clutch like this, <clears throat> minus one. So threes will fail. And he did four. So he did secure a Kingslayer here. So he did more than four. So he did <clears throat> damage the knight, securing a, uh, a objective right there. <clears throat> good, 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 good. Got his combat dial down. Let's see if Gray wants to interrupt. <clears throat> there's or what happened over there? there's only oh overwatch peeled off two grats only three left into that death watch fight that's not looking good so is he interrupting i think he's on the ground i mean i would it looks like with yes. the clock on him Inter that he's interrupting yeah, interrupt has occurred here this yeah Oof, that coming into that death watch overwatch sucks when they wound on twos you know mm. you know where it really sucks if you're an orc <laughs> Does he have? Uh, yeah, yes, I know. Because <laughs> then it takes inches off your charge. Uh, I don't know if, if if people in chat know that the Death Watch have cool, awesome stratagems against every different type of Xenos. The Eldar one is really interesting. You, if you are Eldar unit with fly and you end your move within twelve inches of Death Watch, they can just shoot you for, for two free. points for free. They just shoot you on your turn. Yeah. So that makes being a Shining Spear very difficult against Death Watch mm -hmm. because they can literally just shoot you and start to peel you away shoot you shoot you overwatch you <laughs> like whatever they want to do like the orc deep... one yeah. the orc one states that for every model killed by the death watch player on overwatch the orc player loses an inch of their charge distance Bad so times. you could be you could be five inches away with an orcs lose five models and literally have to roll a 10. yeah like so he, he killed a terminator uh, with the uh or terminator failed to do something here what's going on here Ooh. Ooh. Death Watch, interesting army. It's this. This is the coolest 
Death Watch has ever been in the history of Warhammer 40k. Oh, absolutely. And the, my takeaway from this game too is that I feel like Juice has never played this exact army before. And this is a very intricate list. It's an intricate list. And this is a list that you guys have actually been working on this for a while is, in private classes, right? This is the worst matchup we wanted to decide to play against the Grots with. This is this is a bad matchup for the Grots. Like if you came to the table as as the as the grotesque player, as the Dark Eldar player, this is one of the worst things you could see across from you in, in the entire existence of 40k. So the fact that he's still going toe to toe is it is is I mean it's really good. And I think and I think there's been a couple parts where he could have played just a little better or just a little yeah. tighter and you know been really in dominant position. There's a couple of things so. that happened in the early uh, part of the game that you thought would have mattered <clears throat> a little bit more. But by the still it's that sheer existence of the, that those he as determined through math, he would he only have one more bike even at this point in the game. Oh yeah, for sure. And then obviously if he makes charges with the grotesques on that that other clutch turn where he had Doom and Jinx, or if he makes Doom and Jinx go off this turn. That that was really that's something you great. can't prepare for. You something you can't prepare for. You take he takes the war he you he, he takes the units the way he does, so he gets the plus ones. You're set, you've done everything you can through CP management and list choice to make sure you get Jinx and Doom, Jinx and, Doom and you don't. You can't, you can't play for that. You can't play for that. So we've killed some guards. Uh, Succubus, Pink missed the guards. Spears into the unit, nothing. I think, they, did they go slap damage on purpose? Slap damage on purpose. You're going to play that game all day. That's I will do that every turn with Spears. If, 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 if possible. Tie up something small. Slap fight something small if I need to. It goes stop and just attacks go, into the grats. Just go hitting on game threes to game. and ones. <clears throat> I don't think he's bracketed. There you go. Oof. Mm. Wounding on threes. Let's see if uh, Dark Eldar can maintain their four up prolific streak. Here, this could be a bad swing because he's been rolling hot on these. He continues Ooh. to roll like a gangster. One by one, let's see if my man keeps it average. Or does oh, it yeah, I would have done them one at a time. That's that's poor play. Um, yeah, because now because there's yeah because you because you can just there's like not pains. drink there's, a night. There's field all pains here. <clears throat> I mean, you rolled those. You could just D three. Which one happened first? Yeah, D three. Which happened first? Yeah. Um, there you go. So he's concealing that one. There you go. That's how you do it. That way you don't have to re-roll it. Here we go. High roll, so he knows it's this one. Got it. I already knew in his mind what he was doing. Okay. And now the last one doesn't kill Grot, so he loses two or one. I think loses two. one. One. <clears throat> Stone wall, four up invulnerables. One of the coolest saves in the game, honestly, a four up invulnerable, because he can't plan for it. I hate three up invulnerables because. When you you always get in your mind like you're gonna pass them, and then when you don't, it's infuriating. But I love a four up and vulnerable. It's one of the cool. It's one of the strongest uh, saves because it's you know it's half, but also people always plan on it being half, and a lot of times it's not half. You know, it goes up mm. and down. You know. So it looks like the racks survived the smash captain. <laughs> With their four up and vulnerables, as we were discussing. Rax won't die. Captain can't get out. He can't fight those spears. The spears have locked up the company commander. They're going to kill him in the Death Watch turn. They're going to get out, and they're going to do something. This, let's see if we can maintain this momentum. <clears throat> now, I do think the Blender Witch is going to die, because I feel like if I was those spears, I would have tried to make the charge into the Helvrin and, and do the Lord's work to the Helvrin. Is, but, this is this 15 grotesque attacks into the uh, Death Watch? Probably. Well, we did just get a donation on stream. I, just, I don't know if we've gotten one of these before. Eric, he says, uh, here's enough for three off Isis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. <clears throat> Definitely, if you're watching on Twitch, you, uh, exclamation point hype, honor that man for his contribution to our drinking fund for Adepticon. Hmm. Grots into the uh, Vex with flesh. So remember, they also still make a, they make four flesh attacks and one uh, cleaver attack each. So they would get yep. 12 to... flesh attacks and three cleaver attacks. So still 15 attacks total, but now he has the option to do some mortal wounds here. 
uh, Terminator Stone Walls. Uh, that's why they're there. That's the dream. That's the Death Watch dream unit. <laughs> and we can call them Dream Crushers at this point. Mm. And we are into Death Watch turn four. Can we get an early update on what we're looking at for Eldar scoring? How many units killed? How many secondaries att uh, achieved? Just so we can start discussing mm. that. I don't really care about any of that, Kenny, anymore, because there's some cool name discussion going on for my succubus chick in chat. There's Ooh. Pink Misty, which I really like, mm. and then Thrasher Queen. Thrasher is, is Queen a, is another good one. Shout out to Slugger Boys and Longship Loft. I like both of those. Pink Misty really sounds good to me. You could just call her Misty for short. Hmm. <laughs> Jack of Clubs it, it likes Maneater, which I also like. Uh, Jack of Clubs is actually the winner of more naming competitions on Next Level Painting on Twitch of anybody in the last 34 months. He always comes up with good stuff. <clears throat> so Juice did secure the bonus this turn. Uh, Jack of Clubs, I vote that you write Maneater on her base when you bring her to Adepticon. Uh, mm. Knight leaving, ignoring infantry as he do. He's to see if he's got enough position, enough space. He clearly does. They're gonna do so. They're gonna drop a dice in their casino dice and a pinch. Also stabilize big models. Whippy nay nay lady. Does she whip or does she nay nay? In the in the beats lab right now, boots in the ground says we vote on the pink mist, aka misty. So, I like that. I do. I do like the pink mist. That might. That might be. Pink Misty. Short Misty. Yep. Full name Pink Misty. For, full name Pink Mist. And her friends call her Misty. Vets falling back. And they do have that stupid guy in there that lets them still shoot. This is the mm. worst. I hate it so fucking much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these, these are grotesques. They dead. They gone. They dead. <laughs> they gone. Um, the only thing holding... Grayback is that clock now. He's got five and a half minutes left. He's got to roll a lot of dice to get his shooting off to kill to kill all these dudes. I think he's going to be able to kill all the grotesques and then run out of time. Then the question will be, in those unstopped turns, turns where Juice has and Gray can't play anymore, will he be able to make him come back? And I don't know. I don't know if he'll have enough momentum to make that comeback. It's going to matter. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, when I play against death watch on my chaos list, that's why I always have a pocket gift of chaos, I hit him with a pox minus toughness. And I just gift that stupid jump pack guy. See if I can pop him. That's my move. Mm. Jack club said he already painted his with pink hair. I will let you know. My succubuses also have pink hair. All right. Looks like he skipped a lot. It looks like my man is accelerating to turn. He's going. We're already in the shooting phase. He's just making it happen. He's making it rain. He's being cognizant of his time. You can switch. You can see my man only has four minutes, 34 seconds. The clock is being managed well. Guys, stay at top of the clock. Don't don't cheat each other. This matters. There we go. Now he's going to roll his wounds. Pick him up. It's being switched. Uh, good, good play right there. Good form he's gonna roll him out he's gonna start counting him up he's gonna pull his models uh death watch is counting up his next volley in his opponent's turn being clever about that using you, you gotta use all the tactics available to you <clears throat> he's, he's already begun rolling the dice and got, while this while things were being decided you got to be on your game right now something we saw in the last battery click it back click it back click, click it back. back uh eli wasn't clicking it back he lost about 30 seconds it's on Juice's time for some reason. I don't know. Maybe he has a rules question in that situation. I'd like to pause it. Yeah, I don't think there's a rule question. I think he's just forgotten. But I like Pink Misty. Pink Mist. Pink Mist. And her friends call her Misty. That's how you have to introduce her. Nice. So Longship Loft wins the, what we're going to call the Succubus Forever Now contest. The Trip Tech Whip with the Strife. Blood Dancer Warlord trait. Uh, looks like the uh, the the Helvern is shooting. Yeah, shooting that uh that spirit Oh, battle cannon maybe. We're going. He's making his plays. He's doing it. 
committing Oof. to a plan of he's attack. trying to he tried to kill misty Ooh, okay can't, she can't be killed she can't be killed she can't die now oh maybe she can <laughs> no was that, no, that that wasn't her that was that was the spirits here i was like she oh got. shit she... no misty misty's still alive misty might heroic right into that hellbrand oh my she, god she don't really <laughs> i would get so excited if misty <laughs> she only hurt sadly she only hurts the hellbrand on sixes because it, it's because cool, of reasons uh, second Halvern is uh, figuring out his target priority right now. He's got to pick something and commit. He can't ponder with his timer. <clears throat> Let's see if that's enough. Is that is that wounds on threes against uh, most things here? So four up mm. usually gets it done with this army. I He's, think everything that Juice has left alive. Has battle been cannon into the vex. <laughs> is he going to shoot the vex item mask? That's what I think is happening here. I think he's close enough to a bunch of characters. He's going to fuck some characters up. Yeah, but they all still have four up involves. Oh yeah, with, well, four up involves has been the bane of his existence. With uh, six up feel no pain, so let's, that guy's still let's alive. Let's check the time. Time ticking. Time ticking. Clock. Time ticking. Time ticking. Oh yeah. Oof. Oof. There we go. He's got to make it. He's got to make it. He's got to just say, "I'm doing it." Fuck it. <clears throat> Charging all of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. one. He's got plenty of guns still though. He's got to be, he's, I mean, my man has to have a stack of dice. He needs to just start putting them in his hands. Got to get ready. That's what we talked about. Time resources, but they are only playing a two and a half hour game, I believe, right? Yeah, I think we do two and a half hours on, on the stream. It makes it more palatable for everybody out there watching. Also, it's good practice. This... It's good practice to get in on that two and a half hour mark, even though a lot of ITC events are three hours now. Yeah, it depends on the event, depends on where you are. A lot of RTTs probably are running two and a half hour rounds. This, this is what you'd see in your local beast he's, lab. He's trying to blow that character up. He's, he's going after it. Here we go. A lot, a lot more four ups than I'd be comfortable with. D3s, mm. six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. They don't have eight wounds. Mm. Nah. Lord Discord better have eight wounds, though. That's all I'm saying. If you want to go back on a podcast episode, we talk. And, Interestingly and cool is uh, Urian actually takes neg one to all damage rolls. So trying to kill Urian with this, uh, if he's trying to kill Urian with this relic Gatling gun, it's only going to do one damage each. Correct, sir. Which is Next really cool. Mass just got picked up. Yep. But Orc Pride it, just dropped a donation. I missed it because I wasn't looking at the right screen. Big shout out to Orc Pride. Thank you for the drinking fun, homie. I'm gonna get some exclamation point hype in the stream. We are in the clutch. And thank you for being clutch. Uh, the knight still has a lot of health left. Zidic, it, it, there wasn't good opportunities to hurt it. It took some damage, gave up some Kingslayer points, but overall, what? it's still rocking around. As discussed, they did one wound to Yurian. Burning time. We have a tiny dog alert here on stream. I can't control her. It's too, it's too important. If you're playing the if you're playing the long war drinking game, that is how many points for the tiny dog alert? When you hear a tiny dog alert, you gotta take a drink. I'm here by myself, and I assume that uh, the mailman has showed up. <laughs> you guys get mail on Sundays? Uh, Amazon <laughs> deliveries on Sundays. Gotcha. It has begun. Let's see if he can convert with so little time on the clock. My man is under two minutes. He's got to pick up these dice and get them rolled out. Right meow. Right meow. Here we go. Get him up. Like those dice. Move faster. Now this has been this has been a great game by both players. I think Gray at this point has a lead that I don't know that Juice can chip into. He's gonna time himself out 100% certain, and, and my man's gonna have two turns unchecked to see if he can close that gap and i've seen steve pam bream win games like this right i mean i win games like this <laughs> <laughs> um long shift loft i don't know if we do the full itc on stream just because we want people to be able to watch a full game until the clock runs down most people most places don't do that 10 minute stop stop all game rule um, some the purpose of the run. clock is that you don't need that rule. That's what I don't understand. Yeah, so I never, I never understood that rule for ITC. I know that they're probably going to be reviewing it this year as well. But the whole point of the um, clock is that, that that's that's not a thing anymore. But we are uh, overwatching. is happening. Uh, they're doing a lot of things 
in fast sequence. Nothing. It's on uh, Eldar time right now. Mm, taking some saves. Kill him some dudes. Click that clock. Click that clock. Who's fighting? A couple grotesques or racks trying to finish Slag off. Captains maybe. continue to fail every turn of this game. Kind of huge. <clears throat> so all when you when you, when you're timed out, all you can do is make saves and morale checks, right? Yeah. <clears throat> See what happens. Racks kill the mortar. Okay, we're picking up. I mean, we're doing it. Doing it. Points are being thrown around on both sides of the table. A lot of ones and twos there. He's rolling dice. Yeah, he's being clever. Let's do it. Sneak him in where you can. Captain swinging. Is he going to kill Captain? Captain swung again? Swinging again. He's doing it. He's got to fucking kill a rack. <laughs> he's got to get out of this combat. I think yeah, I think, I think his dream. I, I think his dream is he's gonna get out of this. He's gonna finish oh. his turn with ten seconds. Cyrus Twitch on Twitch has confirmed that ITC already changed the rules to down below five minutes each, which is much closer to being a good rule. So being below five means what? Can't start a new turn or what? Right. If no player, if neither player has over five, it's that so? It's, it's, it's both. They both have to have under five. Yeah, you both have to be under five. So. That makes sense because it gets really hard to manage the time now, like flipping it back and forth. It's actually, yeah. And I'm 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 closer to being okay. I, I could support that. The ITC is great about taking feedback and formulating. Reese and Frankie and their team do a great job. Uh, love those guys. Uh, Misty swinging into the uh, Helvern. Um, hopefully, I'm friends. I'm friendly enough with her that I can use Misty to refer to her. Um, I, don't, I hope I've earned that. That's how I would. That's how I'd introduce her to my opponent is like her friends call her Misty, and the first time you call her Misty, I'm like, yo, you ain't like that with her right now. Like, mm -mm. You ain't that you've been you ain't been down in those trenches with them Pokemon. Pink, pink mist <laughs> for you, sir. Or Mrs. the Mist. M Miss Pink Mist. She ain't no lockdown. <laughs> they gotta put a ring on it. <laughs> Swifty, Swifty Misty from uh Boots in the Ground Rob. I li I like that. Sorry to switch. Beta ish. Because you know that shit's not real beta. It's they, they already confirmed that shit. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's get the let's get the final points. The la the uh <clears throat> the last points. Some of the last points. Uh, Death Watch are ever going to score. Uh, we are. We have now moved Death into. Watch, Death Watch still have a minute left, so they can still make some plays for some unless, objectives. Yeah, they can still do some I, things, but unless... They're going to they're gonna have to take some saves during this turn, so that might that might lower yeah. their clock to a, a smaller level, but they can Ooh. definitely make some plays. My, I, think my, I think my man Gray just maxed out his fucking secondary scorecard. Whew. That's bad. That's an that's a insurmountable mountain. It's, no, it, it, I think the boots on the beats out gaming is saying gray is at 21 juice is at 17. That's manageable. That's actually only went from four. Yeah, correct. It's only four. All right. I think juice has used his last command point. So he can't unless he he regen this one. Doom goes off. See if he can get that jinx. If he can, if he can jinx goes off. If he can, goes if, off. If he can, if he can get that clutch, uh, king slayers right now. Get a couple king slayers in this. Um, if I were uh, the death watch player, I would be counting up a number of dice equal to how many shots my death watch have for the next turn. So when I click over to my time, I'm ready to go. But if the grots can kill that, kill that knight, pile into the Helverin those two bike characters can charge that Helverin. you might not be able to shoot the grots they'll be sitting with that Helverin. that's that's that would real be, life. I think, that's real that's, life. That, that, that would i think be the play that's real life he's, he's putting wounds he's, he's doing it four wounds <clears throat> get in there keep doing stuff use that clock he's got to think uh oh, he's hitting the dangerous thinking step. <laughs> the thinking phase. 
Oh. The thinking phase. Piling in. Yeah, and so this is something where Gray probably saved his clock. Is he needs he declaring. needs one more wound to Max Kingslayer. He's just just deciding not to Overwatch, maybe, because it would it would cost him too much time to Overwatch. You're allowed so to he, choose Overwatch, but not fighting. You're not. Yep, exactly. So. Yep, they they got rid of. He did not Overwatch. Mm, watch that clock look down. There we go. It's getting it's getting there. It's getting there, folks. Two's to hit. How did the did, did they regenerate up to? Did they have four CPs left on the Eldar side. They is that is that accurate? No, there's there's no accurate. He's got to be out. That's, yeah, I mean he's brought a couple back, but he's used a couple. Yeah, you can only regen one per turn, so I doubt he has four. I think he's got zero. They must have that flipped. Must be, must be uh, Death Watch with four. Eldar with zero. It's the realness right here. It's working him out, letting him know what to do. I'm ready to roll. Here we go. Make the saves. Eleven wounds oh. to the night. Ooh. Ooh. Jinx and doom. <clears throat> That's good. <clears throat> One wound left. Max Kingslayer. There it is. So that's you just picked up three points, which covers the distance. Pretty good in the secondary category. Time is ticking. 41 seconds left for the death watch. This might, he might time himself out. I mean, I'm going to say he's going to. <laughs> yeah, the juice only has minutes left. Right, but all he has to do is pick the thing that kills something, right? In the next turn. And make the moves to hold objectives. Lost two to the stomp. Hmm. Here we go. Halvern taking damage from the, uh, the spears. Yeah, two damage each. Um, no save, so four damage, looks like. Yep. And then the witch can't do massive damage to it, but... Here she goes. Only, only on sixes. So a billion attacks. <clears throat> Only sixes. Because she's only strength three, right? Yeah, yeah, So that was too many saves. Yeah, I don't think that was the appropriate amount of saves. Oh, is he letting Gray not roll his saves on his own time? What's going on here? I don't know. I think they've forgotten about the clock, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, I'd I would love one year to go to to Bay Area Open or the SoCal Open. They happen in a time period of well, you're working the most the right? year where I'm heavy busy at work, and Bay Area Open is also really close to ETC. Um, so it's hard for me to take time off to go cross country to play there when I have to go a couple weeks later and uh, take time off to lead America. He's about to, to time the, himself out to the european team championships so under, but maybe one year if uh life circumstances change and uh under 20 stop, under 20 stop breaking my back Ooh. in the hot 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 american sun there it i goes. will be uh, out there 16 seconds left now it's on juice's clock picked up a bike <laughs> he actually picked up a bike there we go mm. she's still killing still killing 
But yeah, I'd love to get out of their Bay Area Open. Any of those events run by Frontline Gaming, I'd really love to get to. They do a great job. Right, Kenny? Oh, I enjoy my time at SoCal Open every year. It's a beautiful location. Um, you know, like kind of an outdoor pavilion center. Mm. Um, but it's the right, the time of the year. It's not, it's, it's an indoor, outdoor kind of like event center. But that time of year, the weather's ridiculous. It's so good. It's close yeah, to so the one, ocean. One of these years, I'll have to make it out there. But we'll see how it goes. It's beautiful. And every table is an island. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Mm. His last few seconds. He's got 1.6 seconds left. Mm. That's it. What are they doing? They're they're confusing their clients. It was two damage. It was D three damage to the to the grotesque. So <laughs> Gray was trying to save that time to uh, be able to play and and do stuff. He's gonna pick it up. What is he doing? I don't know. Can't tell. Helvrin's attacks. <laughs> Maybe. He's trying. <clears throat> he's trying. He's doing. He's fighting the good fight. You get one more save. You have to click that that dice before you grab the dice. However. Click that top, click that clock before you pick up the dice. You can't be picking up dice on your man's time. Last last die roll of the game. Or, or now he's only making saves for the rest of the game <clears throat> and morale checks. Yeah. You can usually finish out uh whatever you're doing, but they've got they the players on the tape. Oh, it exploded. So they're rolling to see what the explosions do. So that looks like it killed a Farseer. Picked up a headhunter point for that. What? That isn't... <laughs> that is not normal. <laughs> Can't predict that. But it does happen all the time. It does happen. Bad time. Uh, bikes into the Helverns. So now we're just in Juice's turn, I think. Is that how we're doing it? Just I believe we are in Juice's turn. We just went to that. We just he just skipped straight to close combat. Awesome. They, they, they shook hands. Marked unit. So he picked up a. Marked oh, marked unit. unit. He needed the point. So he picked up the three. Uh, Gray did pick up some extra kills. We'll let's see how it shakes out. It's a four point going into the turn. Into the turn, I know instantly it's uh, he killed. He held. He held more. He killed more. He, I don't know if maybe. he killed more after that explosion, um, but that's three. And then he got three secondaries, four secondaries. He may have done it. And we're gonna get that final score right now as we're setting up to hear from these guys right now as they're scoring. Well, he would have had to kill more because if Juice took an extra turn, then that would be because he's top. Whatever turn he took would be probably that turn six. And... Oh, oh, final score is coming in right now. Ooh, the comeback is real. He would not be Ooh. denied two he's... times by Death Watch. Did he actually stop? Because he did he not kill anything in his actual turn, Gray? Uh, but Gray didn't get that next turn. That that sixth that sixth and final turn only Juice got to play because Gray was already timed out. Right, but that was still. But what about turn five? He timed himself out in turn five. Yeah, so did turn he, did he turn not... five. He got the, you know, he got his turn five or whatever the that or four or whatever turn that was. He got his. Gentlemen, hold on one second here. You guys there? Yes, sir. We're we're flipping over to you. There we go. So new technology. We're in the new, uh, new age. Yeah. New, um, almost done VIP lounge here in the beach lab. That's where this amazing game went down. Um, so trying out the new equipment, the new stands, we're going to, uh, get, getting this ready throughout the week and ready to go for our next one. Damn it. Great. What a great game. We have no so idea good. what the score is right now, by the way. We have no idea what the score was. I had seconds to get through my last turn six. All I had to do, and just so we know, I killed something, held something, whatever. So so it went yeah. through. Can you guys walk me through? Because I thought uh, Gray went into turn go, went into turn five at 21 points. Did he only leave yeah. turn five at 21? He finished his turn five with his 21 seconds. 
So did he? Uh, so I thought he went into the tournament with twenty-one points. Did he? Uh, did he not kill anyone? Oh, I don't know. We don't know the score. And yeah, then yeah, with my last minute or forty-five, whatever, I went into my turn six. So um, Ramos, who was here and did an amazing job, boots on the ground. Dan was moving back and forth uh, between running the shop and stuff. So the new setup. Uh, Vincent Ramos, shout out for being here and keeping track of everything. Please, sir, let us know what the score is. Twenty. 26 or 21 26 21 who no, won no i'm just i'm just you won i'm just curious because like i said as i tracked him from home it seemed like he had 21 going into five and then you're saying he ended five with 21 did he not kill anything in his turn and hold anything in his turn i killed the yes the farseer yes because you, you killed in juice's turn which doesn't give you the kill for your player turn but did you submit you? So that that was my question. I got a little confused there. Can no, we, no, no. He um he absolutely uh you charged in and killed did. a character in your yeah, turn five. Uh, that I was the Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh um yeah. So did you only before. kill because of the explosion? Or you killed in the charge. I think I killed it on the explosion. I think so it was just it the count. That, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Um. um Plus or minus maybe a couple points there, because you still would get a headhunter for that explosion kill. So he he, he might be at 22, 23. Yeah, no, but... Headhunter early, I believe. Yeah. Also, oh, okay. also I think Juice actually has twenty eight because he got the bonus. I think I, think I did max out secondaries. Yeah, yeah, he would have maxed out his secondaries. He had literally all the characters because with his last two minutes, he came and killed both. Um, he killed all four, both homunculuses or Urian homunculus and um, the warlock and the farseer. So I mean, let alone what he did throughout the the rest of the game, but. Gotcha. Man, I no, want to talk. A, about it was a great game by both of you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you, Gray. It was an absolute blast. Um, Sean, I want you to know something. That damn succubus. That <laughs> no. damn. That damn succubus was an absolute tyrannosaurus. Um, and I don't know. I know that we we get to roll and dice quick and everything, but I want y'all to know something. That on turn what turn was it? Turn three when I. Um, Put that unit of racks deep in that back left corner. I want you to know uh, he made the 11 inch charge with his shield captain and those jokers made every save. There's two guys left. And he swung twice, you swung twice, two out of the four combats or eight combats yes. they were in. Literally, I just kept stonewalling. It was just making me so happy for, for almost nothing. But yeah. It was hilarious. I, I was basically playing on it before you pulled me down. <laughs> An absolute blast. So I know that there was some, um, so the game plan, everybody plays 40K different. And so immediately my goal was, um, I knew my back, my my foot was uh, on, on You're whatever on that heel. phrase. You're on your back heel. My back foot. When he made me go first, I didn't want that, needless to say, right? I put the Rangers in reserve because I felt like we play a cat and mouse game. I would drop my Rangers first on turn two to press uh, to press him if he didn't bring anything in waiting for me, right? And then um, I could counteract him. Well, it didn't happen. I had to show my hand, you know, way before. So I was like, all right, well, if I'm going to show my hand, I'm going to give him all to him. I'm going to cover as much of the board as humanly possible. And we all know that the game, you know, this or that, but the plan would have almost even worked even further if I could have got to this night time in that uh when i had them surrounded in the that hill. was that was the only reason i think it got that's what made us worry the failure of that yeah. charge yeah, yeah we talked a lot about gray's negative negative space deep strike was an amazing move where he moved the knight out of the way knowing that 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 space had blocked out from the grots deep striking and he was able to deep strike his own veterans in because at first we didn't think he was going to be able to get them in to deal with the grotesques and we thought that was an amazing move by you Greg. to the point where we've now come up with a term for shot casting uh negative space deep strike negative space deep strike that's right so um no it was an absolute beast mode because i didn't want those because if i would have just made that charge and i wasn't going to come harder than i i was just kind of tinker it around to force him to maybe not even be in this region that was my plan to force him over there in the top right corner where um his other unit dropped that's what I really That's wanted. what we said. We were like, okay, cool. He controlled it. And then <sighs> the master. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> um, and uh, Beast, um, the Shining Spears doing trickery the entire time, bouncing around to individual characters. Um, it was a role reversal. They had, a, they had one thing they were supposed to do. Then it changed, and they did it very well. They still became an incredible player on the battlefield. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was almost to the point because they were so far away from all the characters and all their protection, they literally had to not kill anything on their turn, wrap it up, kill it the next turn and just kind of just whack a mole with little no, company. It was, it was, it was, they, were, they were used exactly as they needed to be used after the initial um, uh, lack of lackluster play they had. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, it was uh, these Death Watch, man, uh, not only are they durable, I don't know if y'all remember too, Gray had a horrendous three up and vulnerable stint mm -hmm. by um, yep. the Lady of Death when she charged in there. She she had no business doing all that. You could, I mean, you're, you're, a, you're friendly with her, and since you're friends, you can refer to her by the name her friends refer to her, which is Misty. Misty, that's right. Misty. <laughs> um misty should have she she did her thug thizzle but she shouldn't have done all that right so um you know if he would have stonewalled some of them i mean again it's a completely different thing but like when they deep strike in and they're there it's like an impenetrable fortress it is they've got the best save that marines can have access to they have all the re-rolls that marines have they access have a tricker to. they have complex wound pools they have everything you can possibly want yeah and i mean literally he was nine inches away from me right and if i didn't consolidate the hell out of the way the second i go to move them because we're out of combat gray gets to shoot me again with a strategy right um and one thing that i um and i know you guys are keeping track of me blowing through cp but i felt like i had to i realized that at that point hey, you won the uh, game I, to, I abandoned vect i knew i would never even attempt it yeah uh, you, so, you, you won the game Every, everything we questioned didn't yeah. matter yep um so uh no an absolute blast i love this style of list um for anybody uh who's playing either one of these the the slowness man don't in my opinion you know and again i know this is probably only my second game ever with eldar really you know to this extent do a lot of theory crafting and stuff but now getting it on my hands if you can just make four up saves it's a completely different ball game them damn grots and racks and everything is just so that's something terrible. we talked about a lot is like that's my favorite save in the game because everyone just thinks half when they so when a game plan is when, it, when game plans are set up with half 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 people go in it with a three up and vulnerable like i'm gonna make them all that's not how it works and then with the whole half mentality i think people get committed to things that, that don't really play out all the time and all it takes is the roll is to roll that not half this one time or this two times and suddenly what they committed to a fight is not the right number and then therefore you have advantage i think it's one of the coolest saves in the game for many reasons absolutely um you know uh, last thing before we get out of here too i'm really impressed with the hell friends um as always i know they're they're coming down a little bit some people aren't as happy with them but you know there's so many matchups like they basically say feel no pain doesn't exist correct right like so i know there's actually a lot of talk i have a lot of talks with uh, locals here and stuff like that but i'm really impressed with how the hellbrand can just constantly do things they they uh it does take a good amount of firepower if you're taking close combat stuff to do they can engage in the game they can take objectives and move around it gives marines maneuverability where potentially they didn't have it no, and they, they could just move out 14 inches or whatever and just take an objective it's it, i mean they have so yeah, many they're, they're versatile um Yep. So uh, it was an absolute blast. Anything else, guys? We're getting ready to try to wrap this yeah, up. Yeah, no, we'll right. wrap it up. It's like that's good. Remember, guys, Beats Live Gaming. Check out the Facebook page. Uh, the, all the lists, if you're still watching on Twitch, are, li are available. Uh, exclamation point uh, lists. Uh, this is the live battle reports from the Long War. We are selling lifetime memberships right now in the hall of veterans you can always check out the Long War .nut for your swag. You can check out Patreon for slash Battle Brother. If you want to see some more tactics from these guys, and obviously we will be at Adepticon real soon, you'll be able to even get some games in with us. So a lot's happening. I'm going to switch over to the title screen. I'm going to turn it over to uh, uh, Sean for final remarks while I set up a raid. Anything else, Sean? Oh, that's it for me. I had a great time. I thought this was a great game with very exciting dynamic elements in it and really good tactical high-level play. Agreed. I can't think of a game we've done uh, on camera that had more learning experiences and more teachable moments than this. Yeah, and some secret tech, some high-level tech from Misty, <laughs> aka Miss Pink Mist. Pink if Mist, you, Mrs. If the you Mist, Miss Ms. <laughs> Mist, however you want to go. Yeah, if, if you ain't on a first name basis, though, don't call her Misty. Yeah, use her formal title for sure. She'll whip you. All right, guys, I'm setting up that raid. If you're watching on Twitch, please be a part of this raid. Otherwise, migrate over to Twitch, the premier live platform that we use, even though we are simulcast. 
play on players.